On the 25th of February, come join us on Jewelry Maker to see our Mix Up Tuesday show. We're shaking things up and presenting you with a different theme every hour. So it's fast paced and loads to see this Mix Up Tuesday on Jewelry Maker. Good morning, it's Mix It Up Tuesday. I feel like I should be like giving you a, a dancey. Come on, Amelia, let's do a, come on, Gemma. Come over, let's have, we should have rehearsed this, we should have choreographed it quite frankly. So let's, um, let's have a Mix It Up Tuesday dance. And Gemma, we're just gonna freestyle. Let's go. Yeah, come on. <laughs> and stop, and go. And stop. That's enough. Okay, good morning. It is Mix It Up Tuesday. Right, we have got a completely different type of show for you today. I really, do you know what? I know you're going to love it. Stay with us. We have got bargains galore. I've got product launches of things that you wouldn't even imagine that we would have been able to do today, and we're doing them. I've got a, an amazing, amazing, you know the findings pack that you get in the kits that are just like amazing and there are 100 items. We're going to do it for under, oh, see it in a minute, and then... Oh my goodness, this is, this will sell out. This will sell out. This is Rachel Norris's Masterclass DVD. Um, this is the edition two that sold out in seconds. This is literally, it sold out in seconds the last time it was on air. And uh, we're gonna be seeing that very soon indeed. It is back by, to say, but by popular demand, it's backed by, you probably would have been at the front door going, oh, let me in, knowing it was here. We've got it here for you. You don't actually have to come to our front door. Welcome to yours. Oh, that was che cheesy, che cheesiness, wasn't it? Now we've got competitions galore. Did you see my picture on Facebook? Now I just want to let you know I haven't actually drunk the beads. However, this is my own champagne glass. Uh, that I'd left here from a previous occasion of drinking non-alcoholic beverages in the studio. And here is a bead scoop. And we'll tell you about how you can win the contents of the champagne glass a little later in the show. Now, we would love to hear from you in today's show. Let us know what you're thinking about the Mix It Up Tuesday. And also, have you got a special hello you want to say to anybody? Yesterday, we were inundated with text. We were talking about things that you're looking forward to this year, special occasions you've got coming up. You've got a special occasion to look forward to this year, Gemma? Yeah. Or what? Got my mum's wedding. Your mum's wedding, yeah. that's fab. So yeah. I take it you're making everything that needs to be made for it. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm having a go. I'm trying to fit it in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well that's a really exciting thing to look forward to. And um, we were talking about yesterday, lots of holidays and things. So just let us know your life experiences at the moment. We did want to look back over history and see what had happened on the 25th of February in the past proven to be quite a dull day. <laughs> so we're mixing that up and we're going to make sure that this goes down in history. Oh yeah. So, um, right, to start our day today, we are going to start our show with a PR offer. What do we mean by a PR offer? Well, quite frankly, I am about to witness our call screens, okay? So if I could see the call screens, please. Thank you very much. Um, I'll be able to see how many people are calling in. We're going to do something we have never, ever, ever done before. We're going to do a premiere offer. Now, I feel very underdressed for this particular item. This has never been done before. We are taking our findings pack that has had the best reviews within a kit and you're going to get it for the first time by itself. So this is fab. Now I've got all my details. Um, pardon? Okay. Within this findings pack, you have got a whole meter of chain. Now Gemma, you're a massive fan of this new findings pack, aren't yeah, you? Absolutely, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. And it's, they're really soft. They're not only good to look at, they're great to work with as well. And, and I, I love what you do with these because lots of our different design, lots of our designers use these in different ways. So they are, they can be used just as earring um, hooks in a very different way. How have you used these particular ones in the past, Jamal? Um, as connectors in necklaces. Yeah. Um, 
as um, on the kit later on I've used them in a bracelet so they sort of frame a gemstone. Oh can we bracelet. see that please? Okay. So you can actually see these the same this is in a different colour that's coming up later and to be honest I've never presented this findings pack in the rose gold colour before so you can see the same shape of finding uh, in a different colourway there but you can see how it has been used like a fab connector that's the little sneaky peek of a piece that's coming up within a kit later on in the show right we're mixing it up we're going to town on this today so also what I adore about this kit you're going to have 15 of the uh head pins but they've got the little heart on the end how cute are they gorgeous for making stud earrings 15 of the ball head pins now to say that this is going to be competitive is the understatement of the century and we are going to do a pr offer so what do i mean by a pr offer we're going to completely destroy the price so it's not a financial beneficial thing for us really okay we're going to see if the price that we're intending has come up no Okay, so we need to refresh. If we refresh the graphics, we should be able to bring it in. Oh, it's not in 1980 either. Um, can I tell everybody that we're, can you just confirm the price to me so then? Four pounds and 95 pence, folks. Four ninety-five. We'll call the call centre for you. We're mixing it up, and it says 1980. That was the year that I was born. Um, it's actually four ninety-five for 100 findings. We're having a technical issue. Um, four ninety-five. Oh, eight hundred six triple four six triple five. Your price is not 19 pounds 80. Your price is four pounds and 95 pence. This is an amazing opportunity. We're doing a serious system override uh, in order to do that price. Hence why I haven't liked it. You are getting it for four pounds and 95 pence now with that being such a low price for an amazing findings pack please 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 do make sure that you're buying more than one of those 19.80 no this is four pounds and 95 pence if you get dialing right now it's 4.95 got absolutely masses of you there on the website checking out um, if you would like more than one of these take advantage if you're calling in you can get this for four pounds and 95 pence today oh we're having system graphic errors how boring is that oh eight hundred six double four six double five four pounds and 95 pence 4.95 4.95 four pounds and 95 Four ninety-five, folks. I do apologise about the fact that we haven't got any graphics on our screen. It is four pounds and ninety-five pence. Give us a call immediately on oh eight hundred six triple four six triple five. So by a PR offer, we take a hit on something to really get you kick-started with your purchases. And uh, Geraldine, loving you work there on the phone lines. You've just got two. That's exactly what I do. And um, I mean four pounds and ninety-five pence for all of these findings, Gemma. It's a great price, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really, really good price. 100 findings you've got crimp beads you've got the um, rondelles you've got the toggle clasps you've got the shepherd hooks free phone number 0800 644 655 well done genevieve in essex you've got three so once again this is a pr offer why do we do a pr offer why do we take something like this to just four pounds and 95 pence well we have got a lot of them in stock we've got a massive amount of these a big big quantity so we can take a hit on it uh, because of the quantity we've got there but also it means it works a little bit like an advertising device for us apologies we have got graphical issues but you can still get this uh, amazing 100 piece findings pack for just four pounds and 95 pence lots and lots and lots of people buying more than one you can shop on the phone lines and you can shop on the website we are experiencing some um, graphical issues this is four pounds and 95 pence and the code is j k a z six five j k a z six five 4.95 now we've still got about half the stock of this left because we had masses of it so Give us a call, you can still call in. Once again, unfortunately, we do have a graphical error. Isn't it boring? Isn't it boring to have a graphical error? IT, IT, 
IT. Um, and needless to say, Martha, our producer, is not enjoying the graphical error either. We don't choose for this to happen. Um, so once again, a PR offer, what are we doing? We're taking a massive hit on it. We're getting it out there. Surely, if you're watching for the first time, you're likely to buy this from us now. Now, this um, first hour is all going to be about your tools and your findings and getting all the essentials you need. Second hour, we are going to talk a little bit more about when you're getting started, particularly within the world of wire. And we've got some great tools and great accessories for you within that hour. Then within the third hour, we're going to be over with Gemma Crow, Gemma Crow, and we're going to venture into the world of felt. Gemma, please, could you bring over your particular favorite piece? Because I love all of them for felt. Ah. You see, oh. This is not 19 pounds 80. This is not 1980, the year that I was born. 1980, year that God made me. Do you remember that song? No, anyway. I'm glad I this don't. is the felt piece, folks, and of course, with the findings that you've got, you can incorporate it into this design as well. Most people are buying more than one of these findings pack. If you buy four, you'll have 400 findings. This is four pounds and 95 pence. It is not 19 pounds 80. Now, if you've just tuned in, where have you been for the last few minutes? We're mixing it up on the Tuesday, 1980. Four pounds and ninety-five pence. Four ninety-five. Um, we'll we'll revisit that a little later. Um, hopefully, we'll have the chance to get the graphics correct for you. Uh, please feel free to have a big rant about our graphics because the more of us that rant, hopefully, they'll get sorted. Let's do this. Now, Rachel Norris. I'm going to read the back of this actually. Rachel Norris is an award-winning jewellery designer specialing in wire, specialing, specialising sorry, in wire work designs. Um, she's been on BBC television shows, she's obviously here a lot uh, and in a massive amount of jewellery magazines. Her jewellery is truly, truly, truly inspirational and is incredible. It is absolutely incredible. This is the Wirework Masterclass Edition two she is amazing at what she does look at this you can make this piece of jewelry and it's a step by step guide and you've got three discs in there addition to three discs now we've got some um, some examples of what you'll be seeing on the dvd here you go um there is the fabulous rach and she takes you really slowly through everything and you all these pieces that you're seeing on your screen you are going to be able to do these by the end of the DVD and obviously the beauty of having Rachel Norris in your home <laughs> is the fact that you can rewind her you can replay her and she's incredibly incredibly talented we're really really lucky with the caliber of the designers we have and Gemma and Rachel your designs have really they can they your well your techniques that you use and Gemma uses a lot sort of more of free form less structured in terms of using a gizmo etc mm -hmm. a lot of rachel's work is more structured and gizmo based and i think it's fair to say if you can get rachel's techniques on board and Gemma's techniques on board and laura binding's techniques on board then you can really mix it up and come up with your own sort of speciality and you can find out your own designs and techniques and they really do complement each other don't they but absolutely they can all be used combined and yes. the, the great thing about wire work is you pick up a skill and then you make it your own anyway so yeah. you know you can always get original work with wire because it's always your stamp on it that's it. That's exactly the phrase I was looking for. Your stamp. Thank you for that. Right. <laughs> That's a little stuff for words. And um, right, do you know what? Valentina, Louise, Christine, Karen, Patricia, Susan, lots and lots and lots of anonymous people that are in uh, Countdown, Lancashire, Greater Cornwall, uh, sorry, Greater London, Cornwall, Greater Manchester. Um, I've got masses of people who have not even seen the price yet. And yet, this is flying out. Now, if you have never witnessed one of Rachel Norris's DVDs before, there is a reason why before we even bring in the price, I would say we have got, oh, I don't even know, tons of people on the phone lines before the price even come in. And that is testament to the reputation that Rachel has. And she has done edition one, the DVD. It was hugely successful. Now, the edition, this is edition two. It will not surprise me if we sell out of this in the next, well, within the hour. It would not surprise me at all. If you want to get your hands on this, seriously, we do not have it in stock often at all. So you've got the chance to get a direct 1995 directly from us. Now, 
You can get this right here right now and only pay one post and packaging price for all of your purchases all day. And we're missing a letter on our graphics. Whoop, whoop. Uh, this is going really well. It's VBN for Norris, R for Rachel, 35. VB, Video Brilliant Norris Rachel, 35. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Cringe worthy, that wasn't it. Um, Rachel, if you're watching, can you text in? Rach, are you watching? Rachel Norris. Rachel Norris. Or pop a message on Facebook because we just think you're ace and obviously lots of people will want to be liking your page. Um, just look, 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 look. I have never seen Wire creating pieces in this style that Rachel does before meeting Rachel. And I've never seen Gemma's work until meeting Gemma. I feel, do you know what? We have got the most amazing designers. What have you done to your finger? I've cut it. You've cut it. Yeah. I was trying to tidy my nails and it just went wrong. Oh yeah, you see, <laughs> jewelry makers, nails, nails, schmails. Um, there we go. <laughs> That's my con it's my contemporary addition to jewelry making move. There we go. So if you've just tuned in, oh my goodness, how lucky are you at 19.95 to have Rachel Norris in the privacy of your own home. Now remember, of course, this is three discs that you have in here, three discs. Um, if Rachel, if you are watching and you want to text in, we'd love to hear from you because you're ace. Is she in? Rach! Hello, Rach, I'm watching. I love you too, Lizzie and Gemma. Oh, thanks, Rach. Rachel, can you text in again, please, lovely? How long is it? Thanks. We've got all those details, but I'm just loving the interaction with Rachel. Um, so, Rachel Norris, Oh, she's back. Rachel is back in the text thing. Hi. Um, I'm on Facebook to help if anyone needs it at all, any stage of the DVD. Um, Rachel Norris, please just message me. You see, she's fab. Not only are you paying 19 95 for a DVD, but you've effectively got a tutor at your fingertips. £19.95. pence. Rach. Rach, keep texting in. It's fab, it's fab, it's fab. So how long are each of the DVDs, please, Rachel? And there's three discs in there. I know we've got the information there, but I just love having the interaction. Yes, I know it's three hours, but I want Rachel to tell us, because it's ace. <laughs> now you're still flying in for it. Um, how are we doing on stock levels on that one, Martha Pops? And how many did we start with? Oh, she's answering the phone. There's a, um, so the code is VB, video brilliant, Norris Rachel 35. At 19.95, I promise you, these pieces that are really inspirational, they're aspirational, and probably, if you were to see that, do you think in a million years you'd be able to make it? Well, you will. And how, how amazing, what a sense of achievement to be able to make something like this. So once again, it is the edition two. Flew out, sold out now. We have, well, over a couple of hundred of those have gone. And, We've still got stock available. So that's, again, it's Video Brilliant Norris Rachel 35, V N, sorry, VB, I can't even use my own phonetics, can I? VB N R 35 at 19.95. Just under three hours, Rachel's there. Just under three hours, Rach. Thanks, Rach. Rachel's in Cornwall. How lucky. How I'm lucky. not sure at the moment. <laughs> oh, well, I know, yeah, that's true. Rachel, are you flooded? Let's just talk to Rachel whilst her DVD's on screen. This is ace, 1995. She'll be having a, a laugh right now. Rachel, are you having a cream tea? Uh, I was just asking Rachel if she's having a cream tea, Martha. Yeah, she's in Cornwall. Ma Me and Rachel always talk about having a cream tea. Yeah, when I'm down there uh, for breakfast, scone and cream. Pardon? Mm. Oh yeah, um, Rachel, is it okay if Amelia comes to stay? Do you know what? No, Rachel, she'll be like, yeah. Uh, once again, uh, the findings pack, we do apologise. We know, we appreciate, there's a lot of text messages regarding the pricing. I promise you it will be rectified and you will only be paying £4.95. So if it's showing up on your account at the moment at £7.95, you will be paying only £4.95. That will be rectified and they're working on it immediately. And I'm promising you on live television. Rachel, are you having a cream tea? Laugh out loud, no, I'm on a diet. Rachel! 
Do you know what? She's always saying this. She's so <laughs> funny. Love her. Um, Rachel, keep texting throughout the show. It's Ace that you're joining us. The Mix It Up Tuesday, 1995. Now, I have to warn you, if you're not getting that today, chances are you're going to have to wait a long time to get it again. Um, because when it comes in, it goes up very, 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 very quickly. There she is, Rachel. Hello, Rachel. She's going to get there her hands. Free phone number 0800 644 655. So once again, our PR offer, our premier offer for today as well, was the amazing findings pack, one of our newest findings pack. And you have, up until now, I've only been able to get it in a kit. And it's, oh, it's R for Rachel is the uh, missing letter in the code just there. So 19.95 on that, the findings pack 4.95, complete exclusive premiere this morning, complete exclusive to get the findings pack of 100 items outside of a kit. Right. Now, we have talked about the fact that with our designers, if you can, you, oh, we, know, we know you're on a diet, Rachel. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't Rachel texting in again. That was just a graphical doodly, moodly moodle thing. Um, right, so we've spoken about the fact that our designers' techniques can really complement each other. Let's go over, let's go and see. Oh, and why is it that my wire always gets stuck? I always get, hang on. Don't worry, I'm okay. I know you were panicking, weren't you? Weren't you? You're having a real panic about that there. Now, hello, Gemma Crow. So for those people who've not met you before, mm -hmm. who are you? Um, <laughs> I'm Gemma Crow. Um, I'm a guest designer. Yeah. Specialising in wire work and, and fabrics. And I, I was asking you, but actually, I just if I, if I ask Gemma to explain, she'll never do herself justice. Quite frankly... Uh. <laughs> Oh, it's stuck. <laughs> Award-winning Gemma Crow. I told you that our wire work designers are amazing. Hello. You, they were nominated, if you are new to jewelry making, nominated by our viewers, Rachel Norris and Gemma Crow. Amazing. So, um, a wire work expert, but also an uh, incredible expert in the world of felt and general jewellery making as well yeah. you do pretty much everything and your designs are incredible you will be really inspired today by uh, Gemma's work so <laughs> if we focus in on the wire aspects to begin with now we've done one of Rachel's um, DVDs I think it's only fair now that we bring to you um, Gemma's DVDs but Gemma has done them in-house here at Jewellery Maker so with they're mm -hmm. all with the Jewellery Maker branding and we're going to do an offer on them that are ace so Shall, what should we go to first? Should we do the triple? It took Amelia about 20 minutes to set that up. Yeah, I've just destroyed <laughs> it. Oh okay, Martha, what, what sort of deal are you thinking, hun? Yeah. Well, obviously, yeah, the price it should be is 14.85. So could you just talk us, we're not gonna stay at that price. That is not your show price. In fact, shall we do your show price? Let's do your show price. No. You can go lower than that. No, you can go lower than that. <laughs> um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We said we were going to mix it up today. Now they're usually four pounds and 95 pence each. This is Gemma Crow on DVD in your living room. Okay? They're usually 4.95 each. Three hours of Gemma Crow. Four ninety five. In fact, you're on yes. two of them. Yep. We've got one of Rachel's in there, apologies. So four ninety five. So three hours of award winning designers for four ninety five. Four ninety five. I do want to really stress to you that this Gizmo Wirework Projects DVD is one trillion percent completely different. There is no um, overlap at all with the DVD that we've just had on air. Four ninety five for three DVDs. So I can tell you now that this is very much focusing on Gizmo Wirework, the Wirework one. Gemma, the beading thread that you've put together for us. Tell us about this one. Well, that's how to use your beading thread in a really structural way. So it's about getting the same sort of look and volume in your jewellery as you would with wire, but without having to use wire. It's not everybody, not everybody wants to use wire. I think it's just amazing the fact that you get 50 metres of right, beading yeah. thread in all of the kits, 
well, the majority of the kits. And so, I mean, look at this. This is beading thread. And these are clips from the actual DVD. And it just means that, it, first of all, as well, it's incredibly cost effective. Beading very, thread jewellery. Very cost effective, yeah. But it's lovely to be able, I mean, you, when you twist it mm. and it goes like wire, yeah, as it well. Does, yeah. it's, it is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So you get that DVD, you get the Gizmo DVD, and then of course the needle felting DVD. So we've got some clips of the needle felting. So it's usually four ninety five for one DVD. It's three DVDs for four ninety five. Three DVDs for four ninety five. It is mix it up Tuesday. Oh my word! How <laughs> ridiculously fabulous was that? Wow. These pieces of jewellery are incredible. And what's fabulous is everything that is discussed on the DVD, you can purchase from us here, either during the live shows or certainly off our website at 4 95 for the three DVDs. Now, talking about the £4.95 price point, you have got your premiere offer today, which was the findings pack that we started the show with. There was a graphical issue, but I can assure you it's a premiere because that findings pack has never been seen before outside of a kit. And the kit is, uh, well, and the, sorry, the finance pack today is just 4 95 But it's only while stocks last. We've only got an allocation, a certain allocation of how many we can do at 4 95 And we're getting close to that now. So at £4.95 for the DVDs and 4 95 for your... Uh, for your finance pack for less than ten pounds, getting one hundred and three items, one hundred finding three DVDs for less than ten pounds. Now your post and packaging, if you've never shot with us before, it's only one post and packaging price at two ninety five. You have a full thirty day money back guarantee, even on ridiculous low deals like this. And with your first purchase, you are going to receive a free DVD of basic tutorials and a booklet to get yourself started. I'll show you that a little bit later on. We're tonal today. We are. Yeah, we always do that, you know. Do you know what we matching do? Matching cardies and matching. Can we have yeah. the matching cardie show, yeah. didn't we? We must be in tune. We must be in tune. We must be. It's yeah. lack of sleep yeah. on both of us. I think. Yes. We yeah. must communicate. I woke in up the last night at the half night. past three. Just woke up and could I go back to sleep? Shall oh. I tell you why I couldn't go back to sleep? Because I've joined the planning committee for my village because the council want to put. 2,500 homes in our little village that's only got 600 houses in at the moment and quite frankly I'm fuming so 4 95 there we go uh, four pounds and 95 pence um, for the three DVDs 0800 six treble four six double five right we have got a lot to get through and this is a new aspect to our show Let's do it. <laughs> I want a pretty shed. <laughs> Have you got a shed? Yeah, but it's definitely not pretty. <laughs> no, ours isn't. <laughs> Drew actually, because he likes doing quirky things in the garden. I deal with the house, he can do what he wants in the garden. And he wants to chop our shed door in half. And because our shed is pretty much covered in ivy, he wants it to look like a hobbit house. Aww. So he has to go in through a little door. But we've got a bird's nest on above the shed door at the moment. There you go, there's my life story. Let's crank on with this. So, the tool shed. We're going to start getting down to basics. Now, Gemma, I would actually like to see a little demo, okay. if I may. Because what we've got here is First of all, you haven't got any of your 1.5 no, mil rings on. I I'm obsessed with your 1.5 mil <laughs> rings. This is 1.5 mil copper coloured wire. Now, in terms of this gauge, what do you tend to use it for? I use it for um, sort of more sculptural jewellery then, where it's quite simple, um, rustic style jewellery. So, because you only need um, a small amount of it to create an impact and you can hammer it and texture it and get some really lovely results with it. That's what I've loved about it mm. since working with you on that show where you had the ring on yeah. that you'd made. Literally, you can get, pardon, is that all we've got? We've got less than 50 of this offer available. I'm so sorry, but less than 50 of it available. Um, so you can literally take like a two inch piece of wire, not even, mm. turn it into a ring, just literally wrap it around in the hand, then get your hammer on your block, you hammer it, and it turns into this amazing work hardened piece and it looks like you've been a metalsmith. It's amazing. Mm. It looks so, forged, doesn't it? That's it the looks words. forged yeah. rather than 
twisted. Yeah, 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 and it is amazing. It gives you a whole completely different look. And then, of course, right, the mesh. Have we got any examples of the mesh to hand? We have indeed. And then, um, actually, Gemma, if let's take these out. So we're going to bring the price in for you because it's just incredible. What you can see on your screen, this should be seventeen thirty-five, by the way, for the bundle that we're doing. Oh, you see, this is just, this is ridiculous. Now that rose, can you show us how to make that rose in a moment? Do you think you've got enough time? Um, we could do, we'd need a few minutes, yeah. Need a few minutes to get it ready. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Well, we've got you here. Um, 9.95 for the 10 metres of 1.5 and two lots of the mesh. Let me show you some more of the jewellery that's been made. Now this is just ridiculous. This yeah. is incredible. That, I like that one. <gasps> Amazing. And then, oh, half the stock has already gone. Um, do you know what? Very, very quickly. Oh, this was looking a little bit worse for wear now. He's been banded around the studio for a long time. I think I'm going to have to remake that one. This one here. <laughs> Um, for those people who have not used mesh before, it comes like this, okay? It comes uh, in a tube and it's like this. So um, maybe, if we don't have time to do the whole rows apparently, but just maybe some ex uh, if we see just how it works and you can show us how it um, moves around because it's can, yeah the rose, the really, rose is quite really a long, long demo it, okay. it is and it is on the mesh dvd so if you want to get your hands on that right the okay. full demo it, it is on there the the mesh is like a tube um so it's like a stocking you know how stockings are woven around so you can open it out so that um it's a tube shape if i just show you quickly how to make one of those lilies oh yes a nice yeah demo to do so you open your mesh out and it's very stretchy, so you've got a metre length, but when you stretch it in the opposite direction, so you stretch it width-wise, you get this lovely frilly effect. And you're using like the silvery grey colour now, yeah. and um, we've only got 20% of the stock left now. You're also going to get it in the black, as well as, cause, as that copper wire at just 9.95. I think you may have two gauges here as well. You've got oh, the 18mm really? and the 10mm, which is the 10 mil I'm working with now. It's nice to have that option, because okay. you can do the same design, but um, the scale's different, which yeah. is always nice. Right, so I've opened, I've stretched it out and opened it out, so it looks a bit like a trumpet. You take your fingers inside and just work around. And then at the top, where you can see it's fraying, it will, because it's just woven fabric or woven wire, you just pinch it over and fold it. Keep folding it over. We've only got four of this left, I'm so sorry. Yeah, and we filmed a new DVD the other day with mesh, so you want to get stocked up on your mesh now, ready for that launch. You really do need to get mm. it, because there's only two left. Okay, can you see I'm folding the edge oh. and I'm getting a nice nice edge on there now. Once it gets so far, you should be able to roll it. So just push it between your fingers so that it rolls. And then this edge becomes um, really quite solid. I'm not going to do the whole thing now. But then literally you pull, pull one end into a point and you have um, what looks like quite an organic um, lily. That's beautiful. Um, yeah, lily And you shape. can just cut it with your wire cutters, can't you? Yep. You can cut it with your, with your cutters. The best way to cut it is to twist it first and then take your cutters and just trim it. The great thing also about mesh, you can't go wrong because if you don't like what you've made, I've made this lily, I don't like it, I just stretch it back out and put it back into a ribbon. It's amazing. So I yeah. really would recommend that you get the DVD to uh, share that. We're apparently having some text messages in about, uh, about sheds. Thank you so <laughs> much for that. Uh, <laughs> Lots of messages about sheds. I'd love a pretty shed. I always thought if I have a shed, I'd do it out, out in Cath Kitson. Mm. Or I could do it Gingham, in... Gingham Chack. Gingham. Yeah. Or I could do it cute. in Laura Ashley. Or I could do it in BHS Homeware. There we go. I've mentioned three labels. That's fabulous. <laughs> um, okay. We are going to just quickly focus on the gizmo. Now, obviously, <coughs> Rachel Norris's wire work that she primarily focuses it on um, is gizmo wire work. She's obviously within that DVD edition two that we had on earlier, going away from the gizmo wire work. But the DVD that you get in the three pack is focusing on a gizmo. So what is a gizmo it's basically when you see in fact we've got some examples here for you this is gizmo wire so it's twisted into a coil and when you gizmo you get a piece of wire a, a sort of long piece of wire and you are able to gizmo it into a coil the action of gizmoing is basically the action of coiling isn't it yeah the gizmo tool is a twisting it's a coiling tool 
Okay, let's get this out. We need to see how we set this up then. Um, actually, we've probably got one before I completely rip this apart. Yeah, we, we, uh, we have got one. Um, <coughs> I've got, it's, the, it's a slightly different version. But it, okay. it's, exactly it's the, the same, same setup. Job. Same setup. It's the same. This mantra. is so. This one that you've got here has got two holes. Um, you've got a slightly large one for larger coils and slightly smaller one for smaller coils. So you've then got two prongs for a larger coil and a smaller one for a smaller coil. So this is how you set it up. Yep. So you take your mandrel and you um, there's a little handle here like a hook and you attach your wire to it and it doesn't really matter what gauge wire you use and um, the stronger or uh, more robust you want the coil the higher the gauge uh, but it makes light work of any all the gauges really we're going to do an exceptional price on this if you perhaps have already got a gizmo as well i know that i do keep talking about rachel norris because obviously she's our gizmo um sort of expert in this area as much as as much as the rest of our designers use it as well but i know full well all our designers have more than one of these on the go at the same mm. time because then you can have lots of projects on the go and it's going to such a low price just add it onto the order here we go the price is coming in for you and it's just 4.95 we're loving the 4.95 today Okay, so okay, so I've attached it to my mandrel, and, and then you put your mandrel through the relevant um, hole on your on your. Um, I always forget the vice. What's this called? I don't know what this bit's called. I uh, think we'll call it we the call doobly doodle. It? The doobly doodle. You put it through there, and then basically you take the handle. You just hold it, take the handle, and go round and round and round, and round and round and round. For as long as you want, you can do the whole length of this in a couple of minutes. Um, you just take it round, and you've got the most perfect coil. And for four ninety-five, you've got the right tool for the job. Oh eight hundred six double four six double five. Got some more examples of uh, of work for you. Here we go. There's a fabulous ring. And then you can see what's happened here is the coil has then been coiled, and it's called. A coil, coil. So there's lots of opportunities and you can use it to make your own findings. It's also very useful um, if you love making your own jump rings to basically make a long coil and then you can chop them chop up them and up. you basically make your own jump rings that's out it, of it. Yeah, that's what I do a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. And the other great thing is if you if you don't want to work with your higher gauges of wire, um, I, but you still want structure and you still want strength like in rings and things like that, then gizmo your lower gauges and then you've got all the malleability of a lower gauge but all the strength of a higher gauge so you fab. know it's great for that sort of thing as well really fab oh you can see why she's award-winning this Gemma Crow can't you really yeah, you fab go fabulous thank you so 4.95 for the gizmo tool now we have got some text messages in we're going to read them apparently they're quite amusing so let's have a look Kaylee in Nottinghamshire my mum Carol has a shed which was used as a gaming shed for my dad until <laughs> she took it over with her jewelry things dad wasn't happy I yeah bet. but the thing is Kaylee <laughs> surely a happy mum is a happy household yeah and Dad gets to tell you to himself now, yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, And who <laughs> needs a gaming shed? Jewelry making shed. I, I'd, oh. I'd love one of those. I'd love one, yeah, I'd love one. Uh, we've got a text message now about Gemma's work. Let's have a look at this one. Um, and it says, Hello, Stuart Ted in Oxfordshire. How are you doing today, lovely? Thanks for texting in yesterday. Uh, Hi, Lucy and Gemma. I said it like that because you put it in capitals. Hello, Dad. Uh, looking forward to a good show this morning. Love Gemma's work, but have trouble being so freeform. Mm. Lucy, you inspire me with your enthusiasm. Really? <laughs> really? Thanks. Um, so, I mean, that's... And I'm very conscious as well that I've spoken a lot about Rachel Norris because we've had her DVD on this morning and Gizmo Wire Work and very different. And Gemma really, I mean, you do cross the spectrum of everything and you have a real flair. We don't have any other designer like you with the freeform wire work and it is, it is quite amazing. So there is sort of an aspect of, of confidence that you need, isn't it? And I just think that's it. I think I started in a world of art, so and, and it was all figurative art, and I think that really transfers into my pieces. So I, I like big shapes and curves and nooks and crannies, you know, so I think that's it's training. I remember when I started college, I used to work on a small on a piece of paper in the centre. My art teacher used to come down and rip my work down, and put me a new piece up and then he'd take my pencils and give me charcoal sticks. And I hated it. But you know, it, did, you go out it did train zone. me to get big. You know, it did. It yeah. was, and it is just practice, confidence. And, and, the, and that's the beauty of it. It's not, not everybody's got a comfort zone. And, 
and that's why everybody's work is unique and that's yeah. you know you don't have to be as freeform as somebody or as tight as somebody else you can find your own middle ground and Stuart Brackett, Ted in Oxfordshire, um, just have a go. I mean, with the prices that we're doing today, for those of you who haven't tried out wire work before or felting before, we're going to do some great prices that it doesn't matter if it goes wrong a few times and just absolutely give it a go. Remember, if you make, did you know, I'm going to tell you something here that I don't know if Martha, our producer, knows. Did you know that if you buy a kit from us here at Jewelry Maker, and we've got two, in fact, we've got four kits in today's show, if you buy a kit from us, and it's five kits in today's show. Really? Um, yeah, we've got a limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gemma's prepared two of them for us. So um, did, when, if it's your first purchase, if you make a kit as your first purchase, and you get it home, and you use it, and you decide it's not for you, even though you've used the kit, you can send it back. If it's your first purchase, mm -hmm. because we want you to be involved. It's cool, isn't it? I don't know any other company that does that at all. It's Ace. So we've gone into the gizmo there. Let's go on now to the um, the wire writing kit. Now this is something I'm going to put my hands up in the air. Put this one up higher, but I've slept on my shoulder. It's, you know, I said yesterday I trapped a nerve. Still trapped. I know. I know. Where is me? Um, I have never ever come across this before in nope. all of my jewelry making days. So um, do we need to take this one apart? We are indeed. I may have one in the drawer. Might you? Um, I, Shall we see if we've got one in the drawer? The drawer instead of Whilst Gemma is being my very glamorous, is not my assistant at everybody's all. Gonna want is to. going to see. Everybody is going to want to get this. So we could do with keeping as much in the packaging as possible. Um, this is everything you're going to be getting. Now, I really don't know what everything is. I don't know what everything's in here. Oh, here we go. I've There's one, one open. open. We've got one open. Amelia is on it. Amelia in her winter catalogue ensemble this morning. She looks like a little. It is. Why? Why? If you're a bit warm, darling, why don't you take the woolly hat off? <laughs> <laughs> Just your woolly hat. Not. Amelia, would you like to come and show the viewers what you're wearing today, please? Um, I thought we said this one was open. Right, it's been opened. I think. Oh, maybe not. Just we, jam, just open it, we've we're been told. Right, we yeah. can open it. I feel bad. Why do you feel bad? No, it's like Christmas. I know, but then... No, it's Ace. Else won't get oh, it. no, I love ripping. Those. No, this is one for the studio, we're fine. Oh, okay. Thanks, Amelia. We didn't need those. Thanks, just now, passenger. when you open yours at home, make sure you don't rip it. So, I'm being careful on purpose because... Oh, because of all the instructions on the back. There's instructions on the back. Have a look at these instructions. What a good point. So you've got loads of instructions on the back. Don't rip the back of it. Put it back at this, Seymour. Okay, I haven't got a clue what we're looking at here. Have you? These are um, the little grid um, templates to show you how to lay out each letter. So you've got uppercase and lowercase. On oh, each this side. is fab. Look, there's a love for Lucy. <laughs> Because it's a letter, well done. Yes. Because it's in the alphabet. Because it's in the <laughs> alphabet. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry. Oh, that's fine. Genius. Right. Thank you. I couldn't do this show without that piece of advice. That's amazing. <laughs> so the whole idea of a wire writing system is that you can write with wire. Did I just hear you saying that you're going to take it to under ten pounds, Martha? It should be 17.95. Every day of the week it's 17.95. You're watching Mix It Up Tuesday today. Scrap it. We're going to go to 9.95. Now this is a show offer only. This is literally buy it now to get the offer at 9. Oh, now then. Graphicos. Pack it in. Um, whilst we're sorting out the graphical error, um, we will um, have a look at what Gemma's doing. So, so you're I... literally playing solitaire, aren't you? Yeah, this is the other use for it. <laughs> you can play solitaire. Right, so what you need to do is um, you get these little boards. So I was trying to save time by setting up the letters. But you get these little boards um, that all clip together. So, obviously, you know, you might have a name with... My nephew's name, for example, has got nine letters in, so it's uh, you know a long name. So I'd need to um, have more of these. There's four letter spaces on each one, um, and you just basically so you just click them, them together. Oh wow! Um, yeah, they just slot in. 
This is fab. You see, this even goes out of the world of jewelry making, doesn't it? You can even do little signs for somebody's bedroom and names from the front of their bedroom card door. Card making. Card making, perfect. Um, Martha, what price were you going to do, hon, so I can let people know? Can I, can I just say that then? We're just going to hold five for a second. Your show price is not going to be seventeen ninety five. It is not going to be seventeen ninety five. Free phone number oh eight hundred six triple four six four five. So, the on the back of the pack mm -hmm. are your literally diagrams of where you need to pop these little. They're like little pegs, aren't they? Yeah, it's like it's a pegboard. You lay it all out. You lay. You use the samples at first. You have to use the samples to know what you're doing because sometimes um, it's sort of against your intuition which way the wire should go to mm -hmm. make the letters but this has been really well thought through for you so you do follow the patterns at first and you'll get used to it um, you get used to how it works so I'm finding I'm gonna do your name Lucy so that's um, nice so you just follow the patterns on there and put your pegs in. There's a variety of different shape and size pegs. And it's very clear on the back of it what you need to use and, and when. Yeah. Do you know what? We can just do the L if you Should want. We just do the L. Yeah. L for love and L for Lucy. L for love and L for Lucy. Okay, right. <laughs> so what you do is you take these and... Now you get, you get wire as well. Yeah, you get all these little spools of wire. Have a look. These are the wires you're going to get. You're going to get loads of different colours. Um, £8.95. £8.95. Usually £17.95. £8.95. I want every single one of you out there who hasn't yet got this in your life, get it. This is very different than the wire jig, actually, because when I first saw it, I thought, oh, it's just like a wire jig. And it has the same sort of concept, but the pegs are different. You've got doubled up pegs. Yeah. You've got a much longer area. It's specifically for writing. Now, we've got this tool as well. What's And this of course, you get all the wire. This is the pen tool. Um, and you don't have to use it, but it really is really quite good and helps you stay precise. What you do is you get these little spools of wire and um, you can put your own wire on here. You can use up to a, a 0 0.8 mil I find works really nicely. So once you've gone through, because you get one, two, three, four, five, six spools of wire, yeah. but when you run out of that, just you use can your just own. use the spools, but you put your own wire on. Pop your own wire okay. onto the spools. What you do is you can see down the side of the pen, you've got a groove that goes all the way down the side. So you pop yeah. your wire into that groove and then thread. There's a hole that goes through to the nib of the pen. If I can find it. It's in there. There you go. And the wire, poke the wire through the nib of the pen there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is usually seventeen ninety five. It's on offer for um, shake it up, change it all Tuesday. <laughs> okay, and you pop your spool onto the top. It just clips on, clicks in. And that helps the, helps you, you know, release the wire for one, keep it all safe and keep the tension in. Okay. So now what you do is you take, you follow the again on this little planning sheet on the back of your pack, it tells you which direction to take the wire in. It's like going back to school, you know, when you do your letters, yeah. with the arrows. So for the L, the capital L, it tells us to take the wire around the top peg in the right place. So you're using your pen tool. Sorry, losing. I haven't set this up right. Forgot to take the little peg off first. So firstly, you take this little disc off of the spool at the top, then pop your wire on, then pop that back on, and that holds it in for you. To get the tension back in now. There you go. Right. So it tells you to use your pen tool, and that just helps you position where you want your wire to go. So it stops you having to get your fingers into all these tight um, gaps. And then you just pull around, following the pattern, around here and then I think it comes up to there and then this last one is ready for you to put your loop you can see how closely into that you can get with the pen and then this would then come up to do the next piece of writing that's the next so letter. fab and I just think it I mean it does go outside the realms of jewel making as well it's a yeah. general crafting tool isn't it yeah absolutely it's uh, it's great for card toppers it's great for um, cake decorations I was gonna say cakes yeah, yeah all sorts perfect and it's nothing to say you have to do just letters the pen tool is great for 
any sort of precision um, be great on the to work in conjunction with your jig well, as well. It's funnily say funnily funny you say that that it would work great in conjunction with the jig because we're going to do the jig now okay so uh, thank you so much Gemma That's isn't it right. ace having Gemma here right this is a wire wrapping jig what is a wire wrapping <laughs> 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 what is a wire wrapping jig? I hear you cry. What is it? What is a wire wrapping jig? I hear you cry. What is a oh, wire what wrapping is jig? <laughs> Ooh, we didn't practice that. <laughs> we're on live telly. Maybe we're not going to win a battle with that one, are we? Oh no, right. <laughs> we have won a lot of awards for the BAFTA we haven't got just yet. Okay, so this is the jig. Now we have got a photo of all of this uh, taken apart as well. Let's see a little demo of this one. Okay, I'm just destroying everything today. I'm taking it all apart and getting it. Uh, well, I think it's really important to see things demoed, otherwise it really doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. So you can, You can see that you've got the actual jig itself, all of those pegs, different sizes, and you're also going to get two lots of the wire, a silver colour and a gold colour. And you're also going to get, um, so there are all your pegs there, there are your wire, you've got bigger pegs as well that I've already put on the board, mm -hmm. and you're also going to get the instructions of how to use it. Oh, no. oh look, they work. Can do a little look. Uh, what they cross over they fit mm, in there yeah oh now the pegs from the writing uh, set also fit in the jig oh mm. potential potential now you're also going to be getting the 0.4 copper wire what do you tend to use 0.44 weaving generally i use it for weaving or binding things together binding larger gauges together or tiara twists that sort of thing wire twisting tool yeah perfect perfect Gizmo. perfect perfect well you're going to get that for next to nothing with the jig today. So um, with the jig, what yep. are we looking at here? So we're looking at a system of creating um, lots of pieces that are all exactly the same. So you get, you know, you can do a repetitive piece and have all your links perfectly matching. So it's, it, you know, it's brilliant. You also get a little design sheet as well, a lot like with the wire writing tool. So you can, you don't even have to make it out yourself. Everything's done for you. Now it's fair to say that a lot of our designers have a lot of these and, and swear by them for being able to be consistent within your designs. It's lovely for making like frames of chandeliers ready to do chandelier yeah. drop earrings and, and lots of connectors as well. Yeah. So we're going to bring the price in for you. It is on very, very, very special offer today. £8.90, not today. Uh, you are going to get the jig and you're going to get the wire as well. 10 metres of the 0.4 wire. 10 metres. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. I just decided to breathe in incorrectly. I've only been doing it all my life. Six ninety-five I O G C eight zero is the code that you need. If you try and buy all these individually, you'll be paying full price. You don't want to do that. You want your special show price at six ninety-five. So we're seeing a demo from Gemma here. Okay, so I've I've um, just set it up <coughs> very quickly, randomly to make a, a necklace sort of um, centre. Now you've used a couple of the yellow pegs, so if you don't have any of the pegs on the front of the one, you do get all of these as well. Yeah, okay? you get them, they're the same as these ones, it's just that I wanted to, instead of opening another yeah, packet. Yeah, no, cool. So you, um, so then all you do is you take your wire, you could use your wire writer tool if you've mm, yeah. just bought that, and you um, take your wire around each peg, so I'm just going to take this one around the peg. The first one is good to anchor in fact some people put an extra peg in as just an anchor point and then they you know just somewhere else away from the design as an anchor point so that's always an option too and I find that sometimes it's easier to move the board than move my hands so you might and because this is a nice small working board you can do that quite easily and it helps you keep the tension on okay so we've got them wrap around to these pegs and then take it around the next peg Okay, and the next peg, and the next peg. Sorry, I'm getting in the way with my wire. I, you, the great thing as well is you don't have to take your wire off of the reel, so you, you can work out how much you need. You don't have to work out how much you need. 
Okay, so there's just like that. And then if I wanted to, I could go back around again, and then I've got two made at once. You know, you can do that because the pegs are large enough oh, to wow, take lots of layers. Oh, wow, that's a great idea. I've always done it separately. When have I thought of doing that? Yeah. 6.95, folks. 6.95. So you literally, you now start taking your pegs out, and it's, well, you'll see the proof is in the wire pudding. In the pudding. Okay, so now there's a like a centre for a necklace. I'm just going to manipulate that out a little bit. And that would be a nice centre to drop some gemstones from in a necklace. You see, I think, you know, Stuart Brackett Ted in Oxfordshire, you know, you text in and you were saying you don't have the confidence necessarily for free form. I think this is a perfect in-betweeny because yeah. you get to be creative with it yeah. and yet you get the sort of symmetry with it as well. And see, look, 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 look loud. So this is what you need to do. You need to use that and then you need to do a gemacroism, which is you literally just take it and then change I, it a bit. I left those longer tails on, if you remember where I anchored it on, I left them. And then, so I've just taken it off, put my round nose pliers onto the tip of that wire and just turn your wrist and it will follow the loop that you've already got made with the jig. And then you can add your own little extra embellishment see there. just by doing that extra little tweaky tweaky tweakiness and that was they were just the round nose pliers from our usual toolkit and we'll bring the toolkit to you a bit later in the show 6.95 it's got to be done it's got to be done free phone number 0800 644 so that's the jig and the wire okay we've had a text in this is from Anne in Kent hi Anne hi all at JM I've just bought oh a summer house for all my jewellery as my family is getting fed up with it all over the living room. Uh, that's from Anne. Anne, I'd do you know what? I would love a summer house just to go there. Mm. Just at the end of the garden, all I would need is the facility to make tea and my jewellery making things. Ah. Oh. Heaven. Ah. Oh. Wouldn't it be oh. lovely? Heaven. No toys. No drills. Lego. My husband leaves tools all <laughs> over the house. No toys anywhere. What was that, sorry? No cats. My husband what? My husband and his tools. <laughs> Shall we move on? <laughs> Probably. Yes. Right. Shall we go to the Wall of Fame? Oh, just before we do, we've still got some... We've still got some John Norris DVDs. Yes, Gilea. What is this? Um, it's fab. If you've just tuned in, we have got back by extraordinary popular demand, Rachel Norris's Edition 2 Masterclass DVD. And this is fab. This is fab, 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 fab. Now, uh, it will not surprise me if this sells out today. So make sure you are buying it now at 19.95. Remember your post and packaging price. You only pay once. V B N R three five and the R for Rachel is now present. Thank you for turning up today, R in the code, <laughs> eventually. And that's nineteen ninety five on that. Excuse me, I've got one of those sneezes that it's there but it's not there. Who knows when it may appear? Oh, what a reason to watch the show. When will my sneeze appear? Uh, we've got competitions coming up later in the show as well, so make sure you stay with us. But right now, going to my favourite part of the show. Let's go to the Wall of Fame. <coughs> Okay, it is the Wall of Fame opportunity for you to send in your designs. And what you can do is literally either post them in or email them to studio at jewelrymaker.com and we'll show those details after of how to do that. Now we do not choose uh, which ones go onto the wall. They're literally chosen at random, but every single entry that gets sent to us has a number allocated to it. So even if it doesn't appear on the wall, um, you're all entered into the draw and on a Wednesday we pull the winner out of the tombola type scenario thing if you are the um, second prize you have 50 pounds credited to your account and if you're first prize you have a hundred pounds credited to your account literally for just making some jewelry and sending in a picture it's ace so let's have a look at the first one here this is 186 this is lovely this is from Chris in Ipswich hi my 10 year old son decided he wanted to make a necklace for a friend and this is the result Oh. Everything is from Jewelry Maker. I've asked for one for Mother's Day. That's from Chris and Ipswich. 
Oh that's my lovely. word. That's fab. I wish we knew your son's name. Congratulations to you, 10 year old son. That is absolutely fab. 186. I've said this before, most of the world's sort of most well known designers in jewellery are men. Mm. Do you think Tom's going to be a designer? Do He's you? Very, yeah. He made That's his really teacher cool. a, a necklace for Christmas. And really? do you know, he, he's so proud every time she wears it. He's so proud. That's, That's just lovely. lovely, isn't it? That is lovely. It's really yeah. lovely. Right, I've got this is gorgeous. 187. I love the shell. Um, the printed shell we've got. Hi, jewelry maker. I'm sending this in for my mum. It's been made with Labradorite, oblongs, green pearls, peridot chips, and silver findings, all from jewelry maker. The shells were from. Um, my mum's stash. She watches you every day and she says you keep her company since my dad died last year. We both love JM and spend too much money. Um, really need a win. Sue in Stoke-on-Trent. Sue, so that is beautiful jewellery. Really beautiful jewellery. And thank you for having us in your home. Yeah. Thank you. 187. Good luck. And then yeah. 188. Ah. Oh. Um, oh, hello. This is a long one, Alicia. I'm going to have to skim read it. Well, no, I'll, I'll read it all. It says, hello, you lovely lot. <laughs> hello. This is my first Wall of Fame entry I've sent in in ages and ages, and it's nice to see Carol back with us, and the standard of workmanship just seems to be going up and up in the team. I agree. Although um, not as good as I would like, I'm still really happy with my latest commission. The photos highlight the imperfections, but overall it was, looks really pretty. And thanks to the ametrine, I know you can't see the citrine uh, mix very clearly, she says, um, and the fluorite, which I adore, and the entire, the, all of the quality of the wire, everything is from JM. There's very little need to go elsewhere, and I can always trust JM for quality and reliability for the source of gemstones. My customer gave me permission to show what I had made for her, and to show and to say what she had said. Just wanted to let you know that the jewellery looked amazing, and I've had several compliments on it, so thank you. So thanks, JM, for inspiring me to indulge my passion for gemstones and creativity. And it says um, she's got a jewellery group as well. Oh, and you, oh, um, she, oh, do you know what? I'm trying to skim read this. Uh, it says lots of love to everybody. And she's hoping to come along on a Sunday morning show again. And that's from Alicia. That, that's fab. And I'm so chuffed for you that you're having success in selling your jewellery and having commissions as well. Because that's brilliant if you can uh, make a little business out of it. That's 188. Good luck. I've got number 189, it's from Lynn Purves and she says, um, hi all, hopefully you get this. I have both the pink and turquoise wire in one millimeter and made this bracelet after making my own links. Just thought I would let you see how good they go together and that's from Lynn in Edinburgh. That is absolutely gorgeous. That is gorgeous. We had that color combination on the show, yeah. Oh. I see, didn't Laura have that? Yeah, you had Yeah. 0.8 and one mil, didn't you, Sunday. yesterday? It's still Sunday. Sunday. Time flies when you're having they, fun. The coils it? were made. The links were made with Gizmo. Yes. So brilliant. Fab. Really fab. Gorgeous really colour combination. And then the final one is one nine zero, and this is from Lisa in Malvern. Oh, there's a fabulous fabric shop in Malvern. Mm. Oh, there is. Uh, hi, hello, jewelry maker. Here's my entry for the Wall of Fame. It's made with tiger's eye, turquoise, culture pearls, and gold plated silver findings, all from jewelry maker. And this is from Lisa in Malvern, beautiful. I love seeing sets of jewellery that have been made, really lovely, a 190. Right, you know how we're mixing it up today? We thought we'd do a little mix up for a competition. Now, one of you out there today is going to win this bead scoop. We just thought it looked quite fabulous in a champagne glass. nice in a glass. It does, doesn't it? Okay. We're not doing guess the quantity because that would involve Amelia having to count them and quite frankly, she'd probably punch me in the face. Uh, <laughs> but here we go, we're talking about mixing it up. I need you to look at this and name who's in the picture, but you can enter by either putting it on Facebook or texting in your answer. So, name the people in the picture for your chance to win a bead scoop. And you need to start your text message, JM Studio. Oh, it's just text messages. Apologies, apologies, apologies. This is just JM Studio text messages, please. Now, it is, make sure you do include your customer number. Uh, start your text message, JM Studio 60777. And it's the first person to, is it the first person to text in the right one? No, you're going to pick one at random. So everybody who texts in will be emptied. Put in. Hello. 
Have a look. Oh, oh my word. Oh my word. Oh my word, that's really baffling. I think I've got the hair. I think that's my mole. <laughs> Oh my word. <laughs> I mean, it's just gone. She's gorgeous, <laughs> isn't she? I've got the hair. Have you? Yeah. So you need to name three people. Now, all of you will be put into, basically, we've got a system where your text messages will be shuffled at random and one of the correct answers will be chosen at the end of the show. Francis in Somerset, you've texted and you're not right, apparently, hun. I, honestly, I don't know who it, can we look at it again? Is it all guest designers? Or is it people from the show? People that you see on your... Oh, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I think. I think I've got it. Let me just see if I'm right. I'm not going to say it out loud, obviously. Yeah, I've got it. I've been able to get one of it from the lipstick. Yeah. Paula in Essex, you're not right either, doll. We can confirm that Ed is definitely not in that picture. There is no pen behind the ear, there is no stubble as far as I can see, and there's certainly no Ed essence about it. Oh yeah, right, we'll show you that throughout the show, and all of you can text in, um, and once you text in, they'll be shuffled. Oh, we're doing it at 11, I just said one. Can we do it at one, because it says one on the graphics, on the, on the picture, can we do it at one o'clock? We'll do it just before, literally just before one. I, Martha's going to come out and I'm going to smack her wrist. I don't think that's necessary, darling, but thank you. No, do, hello, hello, award. What? Kiskilia. Now, last week, Martha and Scott from our team went to the awards and we received this one. Highly commended in the best TV shopping channel for crafts. Well, considering the, we're not actually considered by many as a craft channel because we only really look at one craft um, of jewellery making. So therefore, many people don't consider us to be a craft channel. That's brilliant that we've won an award in the craft awards. That's ace. Ah. Um, oh, my arm. Oh, I know. I know. No. Right. Martha, tell me what price you're doing. You gonna do what? <laughs> right. Am I right in thinking I've never presented this findings pack in a kit before? Has, I, I don't know, oh. have you worked with the gold findings? You've worked with them before? Yeah. <laughs> See, I never have. I can confirm that these have never, ever been sold independently of a kit before. This finding pack holds 100 findings. Look at these. Little heart. The little rondelles, shepherd hooks, the ribbon ends, the earring hooks, the S clasps, the crimp beads, the jump rings, and those jump rings, ah, they're saw cut, they're saw cut jump rings. That means that when they close together, they close together completely flush. So they're really great if you want to do a little bit of chain mail linking with them. And then you've got crimp beads as well, as well as obviously all your head pins and eye pins. You're also going to get 100 metres of this 
beautiful chain. It looks really stupidly expensive. Now, can you imagine just a long pendant made with this chain and how much you would expect to pay, even with a faux gemstone on the end of it? A hundred findings. P O Ed Z Z Z six eight. P O A Z six eight for one hundred findings in the gold colour at nine pounds and ninety five pence. Now it's one of those essential finding packs. Once again, have a look around. Do your price comparisons elsewhere. It's phenomenal value for money. And it, I know I shouldn't say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Don't you think there's a quite a lot of gold findings out there that are really naff? Gold, gold can look naff, can't it? Can look a bit. Oh, just so you know, update on the text. No one has got it right yet. Really? Yeah. I swear Ed's not in it. Everyone keeps saying. Apparently, loads of the texts have said it's Ed. Ed. I swear, there's n Ed is not in it. I'm not going to give you any hints at all. No, nope. not one person's got it right yet. All we can say is that they are definitely seen on Jewelry Maker. Frequently. It's not Amelia either. It's not Mike. There are no men. I've got to say, the ladies who are in this, the... And I wasn't implying you're a man, Amelia. I was indicating that Mike is a man. There are no men present. Let's have a look at the image again of this Miss Matchy, Maxi, Michelle. I, I know who it is too. Can I enter? No. It's really bizarre. Because it looks like a real person. It looks a bit like Annika Rice. Looks like who? Annika Rice. It looks like Annika Rice. And yeah, maybe Michaela Strachan, you know? Annika Rice and Michaela Strachan, I can confirm that neither of those celebrities are present in our <laughs> mass, mush. Uh, and also, it's just text. I do apologise, I thought it was Facebook. I've been corrected. It is just texting in. Now, if you get free text messages, it's free to text us. We don't charge you. You only get charged a standard network rate. So if you get free text messages, it's free. And if it costs you 15p to text usually, it's just going to cost you 15p. It's just the same as any other text. It's eight. Make sure you start it with JM Studio. If not, it goes to another shopping channel that's nothing to do with us. So you have to start it, JM Studio. So 9.95 on this findings pack. 100 beautiful findings. And that colour of gold is stunning, 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 stunning. It's classy, it's sophisticated. I always go on about how you should use um, 95 stone silver, 9 carat yellow gold findings with our uh, gemstone strands of distinction. I think with the hue of this colour of gold, I mean you'd never be able to get 925 stone silver findings for that price, but the colour of that gold is really, really luxurious. 9.95. Now then, it's time to say goodbye to the shed. And then when we come back from closing our shed door, we're going to show you how to enter the wall of fame. Oh, then we've got limited edition kits and we've got loads of exciting things. We've got loads of bargains. And when we're brewing up to demonstrations from Gemma about felting, and it is just amazing. Don't go anywhere. Let's close that shed door. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jewelry Maker account. And the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jurymaker.com or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moon's Moat, Redditch, B989HF. When you place your first order with us, you will receive a free booklet and DVD full of handy hints, tips and tutorials to help you get started with your new jewellery maker hobby. On the 25th of February, come join us on Jewellery Maker to see our Mix Up Tuesday show. We're shaking things up and presenting you with a different theme every hour. So it's fast paced and loads to see this Mix Up Tuesday on Jewellery Maker.
If for any reason you're not satisfied, you have the benefit of our no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. Just complete the returns form enclosed with your goods and send them back for a full refund. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. You can watch Jewelry Maker live every day from 9 till 1 on Sky 655, Virgin 756, Freesat 807, and now Freeview Channel 30. So, mix it up Tuesday. I hope you're loving it. We can certainly, so I think it's fair to say with the volume of you shopping with us today, it's huge, certainly a huge success from our point of view. And that's ace for you because the more of you that shop, the more we can absolutely lower prices. But also, I want you to do me a little favor. Can you do me a favor? Can you? Can you tell all your friends about how fabulous we are? And you know what, if you want some help in doing that, if you give us a call, um, if you need another one of these to give to a friend or to give to a relative, maybe you're having a girly get together and you're thinking, I love making jewellery, I wish I had some friends that I could make jewellery with. Say you've got a meet up about six of you that are going to meet for a big fat slab of cake and a cup of tea and you're going to have a nice catch up and you want to, because we do have a lot of people contacting us saying, do you know of a beading group? I make jewellery and I don't know anyone else who does. Well, get your friends into it. So say you've got six friends coming round. We'll send you six of these. Just call us up today. We'll send you these for free. Give them out to your friends. Then you can get your friends absolutely enthralled and addicted to the world of JM as well. And then you've got, you know, you've got your beading groups being formed. Now I'm going to help you along the way as well. Right now, if you have never made jewellery before, or even if you're just new to jewellery making. So let's, let's go in lots of great things to enhance what you already have or just get you started. Now, uh, just before we do this, can I just say, coming up, oh, Oh, if ever there was a reason to watch the show. <laughs> now this is why Gemma is award winning. It's amazing. This is just two items. And then we've got this gorgeous little sparkly something or extra extra that I've never worked with before with mm -hmm. felt that we've got coming up later and that's ace as well. So I just thought you might quite like to see those. I think I was right, wasn't I? Did you like to see them? I think they yeah, I think you like to see them. Right. Oh, this trap nerve drive me bonkers. Okay. If you have never made jewellery before in your life, well, actually, where, how did you first start making jewellery? So you were doing art for a long time. How mm. did, what sort of happened for you? Um, I made earrings for, for a charity. For, I wanted to save the whales. I think I've said this before. I wanted to save the whales, so I thought, I'll make some earrings. And um, I can't remember how it came Don't about. Don't you love Gemma Crow? <laughs> I was about 11. I wanted to save the whales, so I made some earrings. <laughs> Do you know what I would love to do now? I want to hear your stories. I want you to text in your stories. How did you start jewellery making or why did you start jewellery making? Because I want to help all those people out there who are not quite sure what to do and where to get started. Um, so for all of you fabulous jewellery makers that have been making for a long time or maybe you've just started recently, I'd like you to text in now maybe with your experiences of jewellery maker and I'd also like to hear from you with how you got started. So you made earrings to mm. save the whales. Do you remember what you made them out of? Yeah, it was all glass and um, plastic and wood. So, uh, you know, I was 11. I yeah. Was, you, yeah. I, like my £1.50 on pocket money. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh gosh, <laughs> I remember going yeah. completely. Yeah. I was about 12 uh, when I started my business. I've always been quite business minded. Yeah. Um, but I remember <laughs> the first piece of jewellery I made, I remember it vividly. We were at a craft fair 
and my mum was wearing this beautiful wooden um she had wooden necklace on i remember really big chunky rondelles and then lots and lots and lots of strands of little wooden beads mm. and it broke and i remember thinking oh i love that jewelry my mum's i remember putting the two and two together and thinking i'm gonna fix my mum's necklace and that's how I started, just mm. fixing. And then actually, my mum would give me some necklaces she didn't wear anymore. Yeah. And I think I just remember buying lots of findings and using my dad's fishing tools, or his tools and fishing wire, yeah. and just fixing existing or making new pieces out of my mum's old bees. But the first gemstone piece of jewellery I made was um, a PowerShell pair of earrings. Oh. And my friend's mum bought them from me for two pounds. And back in those days, two pounds was a lot of money. Price. And I remember taking them to taking that money to the bead shop in Buxton that I've spoken about before, and buying my own beads. And then my next purchase, I bought a pair of pliers, and that was the turning point. Mm. And when you've got the right tools for the job, that's when you become jewelry making. We're gonna get give you now an amazing get started kit now I've got to say yes this is child friendly however because of some of the tools involved we would definitely recommend that you would need to have adult supervision for a child but there's certainly an aspect of working alongside your grandchild your niece your nephew I also know a lot of people that have contacted me who do nannying and now they've decided to do jewelry making because I've been chicken uh, chicken the Chicken the flannels, <laughs> flicking the channels, and think actually that's a lovely thing to do um, with with the people with the children that I look after. I also know a lot of people who are carers, and perhaps you work in an old people's home and you want something to do with the people that you look after. Because the thing with jewellery making is, well, I think we're quite a nice breed of people, but also within crafting, there's a sense of achievement. But if you've got the right tools for the job, it makes your sense of achievement even better because it's less frustrating to get to that point. And your overall, what you create, can be a lot more pleasing to the eye. We've had a text message in, apparently. Um, we're going to bring the price in for this first. I will talk in. Pardon? Do you know what? You can start off now with professional tools for 1995. There is no need for you to start off with basic tools and add up. Let's, we'll, we'll have a quick look through this. This is phenomenal value for money. Now, guest designer Sheila would not be without this. This is fantastic. In fact, we, let's have a look at this first text message that's come in. Uh, and this is from Angela in Lancashire. Hi, Angela. I started when I was on my honeymoon. The cruise had a jewelry making workshops and I went. My husband did too. Oh, Angela, that's fantastic. You know, our guest designer Natalia teaches on cruise ships. She does those courses as mm -hmm. well. So that's really cool. That's A. So um, yeah, keep them coming in. How did you get started? And um, Cass, how did you make your feast? Was it just working here? Yeah. Yeah working here obviously I think you sort of just get the bug for it but let us know how did you get started right so in fact let's start with the pliers and the tools now Gemma we start with all this the basic toolkit yeah. but you use these exact tools every day yeah I do I do I've recently just bought some you know upgraded to some flush cutters but um, Other than that, very just, recently and that's just an additional thing that you'll need at a later date maybe maybe um, yeah. so the tools here you're gonna get flat nose pliers round nose pliers chain nose pliers and the great thing is in your free DVD and booklet that will come with your first purchase all of this will be explained to you okay so don't worry when you get it home don't think you're on your own you've got these tools and you won't know where to start now you do get all of the uh, storage boxes here as well which you can store your polymer clay in bead reamer this is such a great offer if you run workshops you might want to be getting this for stocking up on your workshops um, so this is the basic toolkit but it's our professional toolkit as well so I think the essence is sometimes you think I'll buy that and then I'll upgrade at a later date you don't actually need to you can start off with the professional tools. You can afford to start off with professional tools. Don't, and actually, if you look at more basic tools that are around or uh, lesser quality, have a look at price comparisons because for one pair of round nose pliers, you can find them for fourteen ninety five for one pair of pliers out there easily, yeah. and then some upwards. It's probably some at a lower price, but nine ninety five is the usual price just for this on its own, which is very competitive anyway. But you get so much more on this show offer today. When so, I, so, oh, sorry, no, go, go, go. Well, I was going to say when I first bought tool, uh, tools for myself, and also when I started doing workshops, I had very a little amount of money to invest in getting tools for everyone, and I bought these multi tools. You know, with it's. 
I think we've sold them and they are great if you just want to pop them in your bag and have something handy but it does limit what you take on you know it limits because you know you can't get um, you can't squash a crimp with the very tip of your pliers so it means that you can't put a crimp in a tight place so therefore you don't make a design like that so it really is limiting if you haven't got the right tools it and does you limit th your and this is not limiting no at all not at all not at all it's false economy it was for me it was totally false economy because within a few a few weeks i realized i couldn't achieve everything i you couldn't to you know give these tools to my workshop participants i had to get the whole set anyway so well if it had been available at 9.95 yeah, at the time for right. one of the toolkits you probably would have done i would have um, so that is your toolkit there now I don't know if we get so inundated with this all the time. We get these in and out of stock all the time. They're in stock with this kit at the moment. So if you just have a look here, our professional designers have this every single day on their desk. It means that your tools are then handy for when you're not wanting to travel around. Uh, they do come in a travel case, but... Oh, you're such a pro. Look at you there. Put your little clips on <gasps> there. <laughs> little bulldog clips on there. It is a tool docking station. So your tools go along the top, you've got the little holes along the front of it as well that you can see you can put your bead reamer and your all your all bin and it's a bit in a minute, in a minute. Okay, so you get that as well. Now, the helping hands, or we've also we've actually had a competition about a couple a couple of years ago to name him. We named him Handy Andy on the show. This have you had a, have you have you seen? I saw one of these on a Groupon offer. Or it could have been a living social offer, or it could have been <laughs> a discount. Wait, a voucher offer, mm -hmm. yes, um, and it was oh my goodness! I think, well, the, our usual price on these is six ninety five, mm -hmm. and I think it was double that plus. So the whole idea of a helping hands is that you have got, particularly if you've got dexterity issues, this is great. You've got the two little clips just there, and you can put a bracelet along here. Sheila uses this pretty much every yeah, day um, and you've got the magnifying glass on there now you can move it around to suit your needs it's also great how many times do you see Gemma on screen twisting a piece of wire and saying can you just hold this for me mm. I've got no one around to hold it for you handy Andy does and great for doing macrame as well um, great for so many for me for me I can't do without mine for making charm bracelets because you know you, your links just twist yeah. and you might not put them on the right link and then they never sit right so I have to stretch the chain out between the two little clips I could go this short or I could go this That's long it. and then <laughs> I know all my links are on the bottom edge of that chain rather than you know on top or if to you the just, long side if, yeah and it Sorry. is absolutely no sir so we're both like <laughs> um, the price on your screen isn't just for this. No, you get the toolkit and the docking station as well. Now, we featured this very briefly in the show yesterday, I think it was. Now, this is the ring mandrel. It's referred to as a ring mandrel because obviously you can make rings of a set size and you've got your sizing on there. But Gemma, again, this is something that you use on a regular basis. Mm. Yeah, there's, uh, I used to use Lego bricks and things like that for my shapes and now I've got... It could have been Mega Blocks or Duplo, but she used Lego. <laughs> <I> Good. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, um, it's fine. Yeah, so now this is, I mean, I, I couldn't do without that tool. I really couldn't. The, it's hard to know. I often get asked, which ones couldn't you do without? And I think that's that's in my top ten. <laughs> top ten must-haves. Yeah. You get that as well. Now, you also get the jig that we saw demonstrated earlier for wire wrapping. You're also going to get a bracelet tray and the necklace making tray as well. You can never have too many of these because if you're part way through a project, you don't have to clear it away. They do stack on top of each other as well. So, for absolutely everything here, and I must say, these are great. When you're just starting out, or even when you're more advanced, and our, again, our designers use these all the time, you've got the inches around the outside, the centimeters in the middle. It just keeps you nice and organized, doesn't it? it helps you to it see your design. You can lay it all out before you put it all together. 19.95 for everything. We've had a few more texts actually. Let's, uh, let's have a look at this. And morning, Lizzie and Gemma. My daughter Kerry had a few lessons, and she used to go with a friend one day, and her friend couldn't make it. Um, so she asked if I would take her. Probably. I think that's probably how you got started. Jane in Essex. That's fab. Unfortunately. The, the, Graphics are cutting off messages. What a surprise. <laughs> um, and I think we've got another one as well. This is great to hear these stories. Uh, we're just waiting for another one. It is coming. 
Uh, Jane in Greater Manchester, the tall dock is my best purchase. It's a great product. I have three. <laughs> Jane in Greater Manchester, I think you're fabulous. I would need three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because once you've started as well, you're probably just going to keep adding to your tools and adding and adding and adding. So at 19.95 for absolutely everything that you see here. In fact, Martha, I know that we've had some amazing uh, FIFO reviews actually on a lot of these items, particularly the toolkit. If we can get any of our FIFO reviews up, that would be ace. Or I might have asked for one graphic request too far <laughs> on that today. Mm. Yeah, we might address that a little later. Yeah, I think I'll probably have asked for that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing my luck on that. 1995 for everything, absolutely everything. So, um, Gemma, I'm going to leave you to have a playing, be preparing your, uh, your felt. Would you excuse me a second, just while I have a drink of water out of my branded bottle? Okay, you've got your tools, you've got your 3D reading booklet, haven't you? Yeah? Should we get some actual, what, what do we need now? Well, I've got to say, if you are new, you're going to love this. If you are an existing customer or an existing jewellery maker, the price of this is on a ridiculous special offer today. Absolutely ridiculous. Now, it comes with a finding pack that I've never seen before. This has got, oh sorry, I just looked that out of shop. This comes with rose gold, those 100 findings, rose gold colour, copper findings. They are beautiful. Oh, they're beautiful, they're beautiful, they're beautiful. Look at, do you know what? I'm gonna get the chain out. Look at the colour of this. It is bang on trend. It is so on trend at the moment. Oh, we're gonna go on to 20 pounds for it. Look at this. This is gorgeous. This is really gorgeous color, isn't it? So there's a hundred findings. So the whole idea of the kit is that you don't need anything other than what's in the kit. 0800 644 Now you haven't even seen the strands yet and you're coming in. You're going to get a hundred findings. And for me, when I first started jewellery making, that was the thing that used to take up a lot of my money, is the findings. And I was really irritated by that because I always saw the findings as just essentials and you know your components and it was a bit like oh I've got to have them the mechanics actually with this findings pack it's beyond the mechanics because they are beautiful they've got beautiful detailing on and in the years that I've been making jewelry findings have really really come on a lot these are really really pretty so you've got all the rose gold findings let's have a look at the picture of the uh, the image of all the findings again so there's a meter of the chain you've got your toggle class you've got the um, head pins you've got the um, heart head pins in there as well You've got the rondelles, you've got the ribbon cord ends, you've got the shepherd hooks, you've got jump rings, you've got crimp beads, you've got crimp bead covers. It just goes on and on and on and on. Now, within this as well, you're also going to get 50 metres of the beading thread, 6 metres clear elastic and 80 metres of monofilament. The beading thread is in the rose gold colour, so it complements beautifully. It looks really, really, really intense in that uh, image there, but once it's sort of been pulled out, it looks closer to the colour of this. And then, right, these, these gemstones, do you know what? This is Screaming Bridal. Look at your gemstones that you're going to get. These are genuine gemstones. We're not talking plastic or glass. These are real, 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 real gemstones. They're beautiful. And you've got these stunning flowers. <gasps> Gemma, you've made some lovely stud earrings using these, haven't you? Stud, can you imagine those as stud earrings? Oh, gorgeous absolutely gorgeous 
So you've got the beautiful flowers. They are so pretty. I take it these are quartzite. Beautiful quartzite, aren't they? And the size of them, I believe that they are 15, thank you very much, they are 15 by 7 millimetres in diameter. 15 by 7 millimetres. Then, I have no... Oh, it's my favourite gemstone of all time, it's rose quartz, and they're two millimetres, they're dinky, these are, oh, oh, aren't they beautiful, look, oh, look, they are so pretty, okay, half the stock's gone, and then, look at these pearls, they're referred to as a pale green, they've got literally the slightest... Do you know what? These are referred to as a potato pearl. They're a six by five millimeter. They're very close to being around, aren't they? They're very close to being around. This is a really, really impressive prize for the quality of all the gemstones. A hundred findings in the rose gold color and all the threading materials as well. These gemstones are prestigious. They're feminine. They're elegant. With the heart, with the flowers, sorry, the pearl and the rose quartz strand, you're going to get 38 centimeters each strand. With these quartzite flowers, you're going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 of those flowers. 18 of those flowers. Can you imagine one of those as a ring as well? Stunningly beautiful kit, really stunningly beautiful. If you've never made a piece of jewelry before in your life, everything that you need is in this kit to make on average around about five to eight pieces of genuine gemstone jewelry. Are you ready? How many are left? Oh my word, we've only got 15 left at 19.95. 15 left. Now in a moment we've got another kit that we're going to do with Gemma and she's going to talk you through and you're going to learn techniques about how you can use the kit. Free phone number, one post and packaging price, 0800 644 655. The whole contents of this kit is usually 39.75. That's almost, rather other than a 20p, it's a £19.80 saving on that. You are saving £19.80 by buying it all together. 0800 644 655. ZHGC53, couple of those remaining. It's on a first come, first serve basis. Okay, we've got another very, very, very limited edition kit coming up. Okay. Um. Oh, now then. Now then, now then, now then, I've never seen, have you, have I been living on planet Zod? Yes. Yes. Just even know what I'm going to say. Excuse me, can you see, this, this is what I have to work with. No. This is what I have to work with. No. Look at, look at this. Look at, look at the little creature. <laughs> Hi. I'm a pet. <laughs> 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 Do you know what? You've got such a fan base. You're an absolute plonker and I love you to bits. Look at her. She said today, oh, isn't it like spring today, she says in her woolly hat. I like it. She likes <laughs> We love her. She is like our little pet. Um, right. Not but not a rodent, <laughs> no. <laughs> that was Amelia's suggestion that she could potentially be a rodent. I am saying that not. Do you, do you want to go for a little sleep or something? Yes. Uh, are you all right? Lovely. Um, Amelia, please may I have a white foam board? No. Do you know what? Here she is. She's on it. Like a car bonnet. Marvellous. Lovely. Shall we get started? <laughs> that was a random couple of moments, wasn't it? Now, oh, 1995 again for this one. Now this one, you've got one, two, three, four, five strands. Some of you out there consider our nugget strands to be two, the equivalent of two strands. So if that's your consideration, that's one, two, three, four, five, six strands. There's genuine natural iolite in that kit. Genuine natural iolite. You've got tourmaline, lutelated quartz, 
black obsidian. What have I not mentioned? The agate, of course. So you've got the rutilated quartz in the bicones. Bicones are fabulous. Their shape means that you do get this lovely sparkle. It's a bit more like a, a twinkle. They, 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 obviously, this is exactly the universal sign for twinkling. Okay. Um, but you've got that lovely, 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 amazing uh, movement of light that plays around with the inclusions within the gemstone as well. This is one of Mark Smith, who was our guest designer yesterday, his absolute favourite gemstones. And he graduates the colours of these. And then you've got this beautiful agate. I love the shapes and sizes of this one. And I love the fact that you've got a really lovely variety of colours within that agate. Now, this is completely natural. I like how pretty is this. <gasps> Now, I personally would use the eyelight alongside this multicolour strand of tourmaline, and I'd probably pull out just the pinks. I love that combination together. This is a multicolour strand of tourmaline. It's a full 38 centimetre length. And then you've got a, an 85 centimetre strand of black obsidian in the nuggets as well. Oh my word, look, for less than £20, just for the gemstones, it'd be amazing. For less than £30, just for the gemstones, it's amazing. Less than £30 for all of those is fab, but you're also going to be getting all of your threading materials and your findings. Now, your findings are in the antique bronze, but they are of our new variety findings pack. So again, you've got those big chunky rondelles, you've got the head pins with the little hearts on them, you've got the shepherd hooks in there as well. For $19.95 for everything. Now we are limited edition on this one. QIGC48 is the code that you need. Free phone number 0800 655. I don't know about you, but it's brewing up for that time of morning when I think I could do with a brew. <laughs> Amelia's like, Oh no. I was just longingly watching. I'll do it. Well, yeah, because a brew. Look. I do it myself, but I'm sort of presenting live tally. Free phone number 0800. Should we swap? I'm sure everyone would love that. And I'm serious. Free phone number 0800 644 655. And just so you know, this should be over £40. £40 and 15 pence, less than half price. And that's our price. If you buy everything usually at our low prices on our website, it would come to £40.15. And, and if you buy it today using the code at the top of your screen, it's just 19 95 Now we're going to go and do a kit with Gemma. So we've had an insight to the kits and the value for money, their amazing value for money. Now let's get an insight into the workings of a kit, how they work, sort of what you can do with them. Now when we give a kit to our designers, just so you know, they can only use what is in the kit. They're not allowed to use anything else. As you become more experienced and you want to be using different mediums, then maybe um, you would want to bring some wire in with this. Maybe you would want to um, use some mesh with this. Maybe you would want to bring in polymer clay with this. Whatever you want to do, you can use it however you'd like to. <laughs> I love it. Who made this up? Glass of bubbly, I'm loving it. So let's go over and see the kit. So once again, Gemma has only been allowed to use what is in the kit. Now knowing Gemma, if, well, you can tell me if you would want to put anything with it, what would you put with it to make it go even further? Oh, wire. Uh, yeah, probably some um, rose gold plated wire would be nice. And 0.6, I think would be a good gauge. Um, but it didn't need anything else. Need loads Let of jewellery. Let me just move this actually. Yeah. <gasps> right, 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 right. Can I just stress to you that one, two, three, four, five, six, these seven pieces of genuine gemstone jewellery have all been made from one kit. Every single piece has been made from the one kit. Now, this is what we're going to do. For every single one of you that purchases this kit today, you'll be entered into a draw to win a piece of jewellery made by Gemma from this kit. Gemma, which piece would you like to give away? Um, oh, I don't know. Maybe the one with the flower in the centre? I think that would be amazing. Right, let's do that then. This is the piece of jewellery that you will be receiving. So, once again, for every single one of you who buys this kit, you will all be entered into a draw 
and one of you will be pulled out at random and that person will be sent this necklace alongside their kit. Now that's pretty impressive, isn't it? Right, let's have a look then at this kit and what you're buying because it's going really quickly already. Now let's start first of all with this. Remember every single item that you see, all the ingredients, every single ingredient is included in this kit. You're gonna get a freebie with this kit as well. We're gonna give you a free gift. So first of all, let's look at the strand that has been used primarily in the making up of this piece of jewelry. So the first one, Uh, let me just get sizes. Yeah, a nine by eight up to a 13 by nine of this beautiful sunstone. Really, really fabulous sunstone. Now the sunstone has gone a long way because it's gone into this piece. It's gone into making the flower of the necklace that one of you will be receiving out there for free. And it's also com um, been combined with the smoky quartz at the bottom here with the bracelet. Gemma, this jewelry is so stunning. It's so inspirational. I think it was easy to do it with those stones, really. Really they, did they speak to you? Yeah, and the colours just work so beautifully. I don't think you can go wrong with it. You could just literally strand it all and it would look lovely. Yeah, yeah. just simply re-strand it. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be fab. Yeah. Now these are genuine smoky quartz. You can see Gemma's dotted a few within that design there. Um, but they've gone an exceptionally long way because they've then also gone into this necklace, again, that one of you will be receiving. Um, in your prize drawer. They've also gone and worked alongside those in incredible citrine my favorites oh we'll take a good look at that strand in just a moment they're amazing aren't they and again in this nuggety bracelet now the beading thread you're going to get the beading thread doesn't that look lovely this is what i mean about the way that Gemma uses beading thread it expo she exposes it a bit more yeah. and uses it a part of the design along the back here you can see how this has been actually uh, put together and using the ribbon cord ends and that lovely S clasp on the back there. If we move then to the next piece of jewellery, now this has then started using the chain that you get in the kit. If this is all seeming a little bit overwhelming, don't worry, remember you get your free booklet and your free D with every purchase, um, with your first purchase. We've got loads of tutorials available on the website for you. There's loads of opportunities for you to see tutorials every day on the show and you can literally, when you get this home, you put the code in, all of this jewellery photographed will come up anyway now this is the first time the citrine makes an appearance so again a full 38 centimeter strand you get this as well and they are I mean they're amazing they give the real sort of wow power elegance and decadence to the uh, to the kit don't they the next piece along here we've got a further one two three four five six seven of those and one just here it's gone even further look at this look 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 have you hammered those no, yeah, oh, no, I'll flatten them. Harder. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But that's detachable, look, look. that. Oh, how fab! So you can take it off. We're going to bring the price in for this kit because it's going already. It should be forty-one seventy. Um, this is a very luxurious high-end look. And remember, you're going to get a free gift. I'll talk you through the free gift of 925 selling silver rose gold findings in just a moment. You're going to get a free gift. Um, but the price for today, it is show price. It's a today price only at 29.95, And it's on a first come, first serve basis. Very high-end quality gemstones on this. Now, this bracelet is lovely, literally using two gemstones. Isn't that stunning? Isn't that stunning? So, the free gift is, let me just pop that there. These! You're effectively getting these free today. Aren't they beautiful? 925 sterling silver with a nine carat rose gold overlay. They're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. You're gonna get five of them. <gasps> no way! Just to let you know, still nobody has realised who our face max, Mitch Mashashibu face is about. We've got a competition <laughs> and we've got that going on shortly. Uh, <laughs> we'll show you that again in a minute. And then these lovely earrings, everything that you see here. So the earrings again, all the findings, everything. And you must have had some findings left over as well. Oh, here we go. So. Yes, you have. Findings and a couple of beads as well. I think it's a shop window collection, that. Isn't it? Mm. I think if you were trying to put together a few things to take around, you know, if you want to sell some of your jewellery items, this is the sort of thing, it oozes quality mm. and it's a display. Do you know what I mean? You're taking to it, yeah. you're actually offering the shop owner something, aren't you? You're saying, I can, I can give you a display. Yeah, and yeah, And this absolutely. kit does that, I think. 
It's a high, it's a high and luxurious look, really, really, really is. And you do get 100 findings, the three strands, you get all your threading materials. And today you get a 925 sterling silver little free gift in there as well with your nine carat rose gold overlay. So what technique are you going to show to us? I'm going to show you the little toggle that um, is detachable there. This one here. Uh, but it's just, um, the feature I'm going to show you how to talk you, I'm going to talk you through that, but the feature I want to show you how to do is how the, I've used the 925 um, hammered ring there and used the head pins as part of the design in, in that. It's just, I've just realised that the top here, look. Yeah, it's, it's just a little, it a little tiny it. design feature, but it's those little things that can really make a difference or, you know, help you diversify your designs yeah. a little bit. So I'm going to do that. Cool. Okay. So we've got these lovely um, heart head pins and we've got our lovely hammered hammered rings. Can I move that there because it usually gets in the way of the way. Sorry, did you just say something to me, Martha? No. Little voices in my head. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, flat nose pliers. I'm going to work on these head pins first. Now, I seem to be doing this a lot with these head pins because I never want them to be underneath the bead. I want mm -hmm. them to be showing. So all you do is take the very tip of the heart shape in the jaws of your uh, flat nose pliers. You can see I've just caught the V of that heart. And then just bend it back, like so. And then all I do is take my pliers then, and between the jaws of my pliers, I then just give it a good pinch. And that then is then the heart just turned up the other way and dropping at the bottom. If I turn it over, it's very neat at the back as well. You know, so it doesn't matter if it spins. Okay, so that's how you twist those over. Um, very occasionally, because this is a soldered joint, very occasionally they'll fall off, you know, as you're trying to bend it. Okay. So, but don't worry, um, I use them in my polymer clay. I've even oh, started yeah. using them in my felt. So you can use the jewellery glue. And you can, can't yeah, that's it, you can use glue. So just again, bend, bend them back on themselves and pinch between your pliers just to keep them nice and flat okay then what I've done is do you know what I've done that upside down for this design that's how you do your head pins okay okay <laughs> so for doing even Gemma Crow yeah. goes a little bit off pattern I've just realized that for this I need the heart to be facing up the other way so instead of taking the V I'm going to take the, the little um, what are these called it's like the Cupid's bow sort of section of the heart it's got a specific name hasn't it has it? Mm. Oh. It has. So what, oh, I, want, what I want to do... <laughs> it has. Vicky Carr knows it. All the names oh. for all these things. Come on, Lucy. <laughs> You're slacking. <laughs> oh, no, I don't mean it. I don't mean it. Yeah, you do. I love you, too. <laughs> I love you too. Right, so this time, what I want to do is have the V of the heart facing up the head pin rather than down. So I'm going to take... I'm going to hold, hold it from the the two roundy bits at the top of the heart. And the two roundy bits? Roundy bits, roundy. <laughs> I said, I said roundy. I did, everybody, I said roundy. said <laughs> the two roundy bits, what? Oh dear. Sorry, Vicky wouldn't have said that, would she? <laughs> no, she just said it quietly to make me laugh. <laughs> so nobody knew what I was laughing at. Okay. Right, and give them a squid. So now my hearts are, they look like they're upside down on the head pin, but I actually need them to be ever so like that. Like that. Okay. okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go just underneath the heart um, onto the actual pin itself and bend that backwards so that I've almost created a little hook like so. Yeah. Do that on both of them, make sure they're the same size. They'd be lovely for shepherd hooks then, wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah, great for shepherd hooks. Okay. And then on the end of each, I'm going to do a rolled coil. So it's like making a tiny gizmo coil. So but to do this, you take your um, round nose pliers, place them on the very tip of, of your um, pin, and then roll your wrist around. But when you're rolling, you want to make sure that when the two wires come together again, when that um, longer length meets where it started going around, you lay it slightly um, down the jaws of the pliers alongside the coil that came before. Okay, and you keep going so that each coil lies next, each round lies next to the one that came before. Okay, 
so there's one. Do the same on the other one. And make sure you roll the same way. So I'm gonna start that. So this time I need to do it from the opposite side so that it rolls outwards. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we're gonna do it from the back this time. Keep rolling. I tend to roll my wrist rather than the work, but it's up to you. Depends how you like to work. We have a few of these kits still remaining at twenty nine ninety five. So you just roughly measure them so they make sure they're the same size and then simply slot on your um, disc or ring, whatever you're using and give them, make sure they're similar size, I need to adjust one slightly but that's fine, you can do that, they're very soft and forgiving these head pins. Once you've got them where you want them, just give them a, a pinch to hold them in place. So I'm just almost clamping that onto the disc by squeezing with my pliers. And then that is ready to thread into your necklace. So what I've got is a bead in the center. And just pop my beading thread through those coils I've made. One on that side. And one on the other side. Remember everything that Gemma's using, the ingredients of the kit, is all included in the kit. There's nothing else. And of course, the tools and the basic tool kit. And there's a pendant in its own right, you know, and I've just added the um, toggle clasp on there to just give it a little bit extra. And if you don't want to put that on, you don't have to, but it works a little bit like if I pop it on. So I've got one made up here. Just pop the toggle clasp through. It's so inspiring. And then you can, you know, you can change your jewellery then if you can wear this, wear it to the office like this for the day and then pop this on for the evening. Yeah. I just pop that through. And then you've got a That's totally amazing, different amazing, completely. Effect. What a fab design yeah. idea. And remember, you can make everything that Gemma's just showed you from this kit. And more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And once again, for everybody who's purchased this kit, you'll all be entered into a draw and one of you will be chosen at random. And the person who is will have this necklace sent to them. Now we have just had a text message in. And it's from Patricia in Bristol. Hi Gemma, I believe the roundy bits are called wings. Ah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she said roundy bits, but there we go. <laughs> and Patricia, thank you for being a part of the show and letting <laughs> us know that. That's always lovely, thank you. Uh, oh, we're having lots of texts in today about your sheds, about roundy bits, about all sorts of bits and pieces. Um, but we, of course, have got a competition. I'll recap very shortly. So $29.95 for the kit. You've got a just strand of genuine citrine, genuine sunstone, genuine smoky quartz, and of course, 100 findings all your threading materials, and you're getting a free gift today with the kit, five of the 925 beautiful sterling silver, nine carat rose gold plated um, piece, of, well, they're flash, sorry, uh, copper, sorry, no, they're not, they're nine, yeah. You're getting rose gold flash copper findings, and then the five free gifts of these round loops and 925 sterling silver with a nine carat rose gold overlay. How'd you be a little? <laughs> right. We've got a competition today, and not one person has got it right yet. Not one. That. I honestly can't. Now you're about that. to see a face. It's made up of three very regular faces of jewelry maker. I'm not giving that clue. No, I'm not giving. If no one's got it by twelve, I'll give the clue. Okay? I'll give you a clue at twelve if no one's got it. We want you to text in to 60777. You need to start your text message, JM Studio, otherwise it goes to another TV studio that's nothing to do with us. Um, nine, well, you can text in between nine and one. You need to text in your answers, really. We need your answers by 12.45 today, okay? Make sure you include your customer number on there. Whose three faces is this made out of? Three very, very, very regular members of JM. And for everybody who gets the answer right, you'll be again chosen at random and you'll win a bead scoop. There is no male face in that. That Mike is not in there and Ed is definitely. <laughs> what part? Of, could you look at the look of this? What part of that photo could possibly be Ed? Seriously. <laughs> There are three people making up that uh, JM face.
Quite frankly, I'm disappointed in you. Get texting in the right answer. Let's go to the wall of fame. <coughs> <laughs> Robin a gas bag. Uh, good morning. <laughs> if you've just tuned in, we are mixing it up Tuesday. And this one, wow, 191. Oh. This is from Nanette in Abergavenny. And uh, do you know what's one of my favourite words in the world to say? It is a nice word, isn't it? it? Abergavenny. Uh, <laughs> Hi, all. After going on to the silver clay course with Natalia Coleman a few weeks ago, I've been inspired to make more of the fine silver pieces. These are pieces that I've finished off today and I'm very pleased with them and will uh, next try to set the gemstones in my pieces. I love Natalia's book and DVD. They've helped me to remember what we did on the course and give me ideas for inspiration of my next projects. I spent a, more, a small fortune on Natalia's leather show on Saturday and I can't wait for it to arrive so I can embark on yet another new skill. Natalia is one very talented and imaginative young lady. I do love my jewellery making. If I'm lucky enough to have a win on the Wall of Fame, it will go towards the cost of my next silver clay course. And that's from Nanette in Abergavenny. They are beautiful, hun, and that yeah. should really inspire more people to do silver clay. 191, good luck. Absolutely gorgeous. That leather work on, sat on Saturday was amazing. Incredible. So Incredible. inspiring. Right, I've got a most beautiful piece. 192 from Sarah Bryce. She says, here's another one of my wire work necklaces. Uh, my inspiration came from a Laura binding design in the Jewellery Maker magazine. I love Laura's work and cannot get enough of them. Keep the designs coming, Laura. I love them a lot. The materials I have used are copper wire, smoky quartz, coffee agate, and a couple of tiger eye rice beads. It is absolutely gorgeous. Laura would be very proud to have inspired that, I think. Stunning. Gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Well done to you. 192, good luck. Oh, now this... That's amazing. That's lovely. I love that. That is lovely, 193 Trisha mm. Bell. Uh, dear JM, here's my entry for this wall, uh, this week's Wall of Fame. I made this rather simple necklace using frosted clear quartz with clear spots and interspersed them with the different colours of jump rings from my stash. I hope you like it. Regards from Trisha. Trisha, I don't think I've ever seen a design like that before here. Really nice. It's a great design. Really nice. Really lovely. Gosh, it's going to go with loads of things. Perfect sort of springtime, summer, mm. really fresh feel. 193, good luck. 194 and this is lovely as well it says hi all at JM here's my latest entry to the wall of fame it's a necklace ring and earrings I made for myself with blue topaz drops quartz bicones and aquamarine aquamarine from JM and freshwater pearls too that is absolutely lovely it's from guess who it's from somebody Rogers maybe I don't know, we've Rogers. got your customer number, but obviously we can't read that oh. out. But um, good luck it's to you. Gorgeous. You will be tracked really down. Really lovely. And yeah, 194. Very and the Downton. final one. Very Downton. Very Downton. I'm missing Downton. I'm Amazing. missing it. Have, have you seen the filming clips? No. Oh, Lady Mary's got a suitor. 195. <laughs> uh, please see my entry to the Wall of Fame. This is from Julie Chambers. Having seen Mark do the wonderful macrame choker with beading wire, I thought I would do the same technique on something smaller. So here's my first attempt at some macrame earrings using the amethyst chips and central drilled nuggets, all from JM. I'm pleased with these and I think I will tackle something bigger next time. Thanks for the amazing demonstrations and inspiration from Julie Chambers 195. Julie, they are so beautiful. Yeah, They're beautiful. so pretty. Good luck to you. Now we are going to go to a break but when we come back it is time to look more closely and get the detailing and learn how to do felting so don't go anywhere we'll see you on the other side of this if you're new to JM and if you just want a little bit more info take a look at this there are two easy ways to purchase from Jewelry Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click the sign up button. Once you have filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the on air now button on the front page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, you simply click on the buy now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewelry Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. 
when shopping with Jewellery Maker. You can add as many items to your order in one day and only pay one postage and packaging charge. We have two delivery options. Standard delivery at just £2.95 and you'll receive your parcel within four to six days. Or opt for our premium delivery at just £4.95 and you'll receive your parcel within three to four days. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. You can now keep in touch by following Jewellery Maker on Twitter. Get interactive with Jewellery Maker. Jewellery Maker ships to the following countries. We offer two delivery services, standard and premium. So wherever you are in the world, Jewellery Maker are never far away. You can now watch clips from Jewellery Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewellery Maker. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewellery Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewellery Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewellery making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewellery making techniques. So, has anyone yet got the right answer? We're going to say... I don't believe it. No, 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 no. no, still, no one. This is hilarious. Mike, have you seen the picture of the three faces? Don't say it out loud. You can mouth who you think it is. Now, the face that you're about to see on screen is made up of three JM regulars. And the person to text in, well, anyone who's got the answer correctly, we'll, uh, got, got the correct answer, sorry, will be put into a drawer and you'll win a bead scoop. But no one's got the right answer at all yet. Okay. This is made up of three faces. You can text into 6077. Who is it, Mike? Pardon? Yeah. No, Mike's not oh. got it right. Yeah, most people get in the two out of three. So this is how you can enter. This is hilarious. Six, zero, treble, seven. Start your text message, JM Studio. Make sure you do that because otherwise it'll go to a different shopping channel that's not us. And you can win this bee scoop. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with the champagne glass because the champagne glass is mine. Am I boring you? <laughs> oh, sorry, look, the most no, amazing no, lady is next just, door. No, no, I just, I just love her. And we've got her. Linda next door with a suitage course. Um, we've got Liz. Look at it. Booze and beads. <laughs> this is Linda's idea of heaven. Look at her, she's like that. <laughs> okay, let's do felt. So. <laughs> Oh no, now the starter kit, we're really limited in the starter kit. We've got lots of things individually for you later, but right, to get started, this is all you need. Yeah, isn't that's it? What this you need. is all you need. So, how much wool is in here? A lot. <laughs> Ever such a lot. It doesn't look like much, does it? But it goes such a long way. Um, it's a shame we haven't got the whole, the, when we launched it, all the jewellery, because it did, the, the, that starter kit did all the launch jewellery and the DVD. So All the like launch jewellery and the DVD was made from this one yeah. pack. Yeah, including prep pieces, so it's a lot. It goes such masses, a long way. Masses, masses, masses. It is beautiful. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Now you're also going to get two lots of the needles. What do we do with these needles and how do we put it together please, Gemma? Okay, so the needles and you get... you get the needles and the handle You get a little well, hand tool as well, yeah. So if I break this out, so you've got... Um, your needles come in two gauges. Um, they're specific felting needles, so they are barbed, and the barbs go in one direction. One so, direction. Um, so they are specific. You can't just put any old needle in here. Um, and they've got a little hook on the top. This is just hooks over. 
and that hook um, with your hand tool you get two components two wooden components one of them is a little peg like a wedge like this a little conical shape and along the side of that conical shape you have a, a ridge that runs all the way down it so at the narrow end you pop the hook and then lay the needle inside inside that wedge okay and then wedge goes narrow end hook end in first into the little hole in the handle and it just wedges in there and that's it ready to use so the two different gauges yeah we'd use the, the thinner gauge so we've got the small and the medium yeah and the small we'd use for the finer detailing yeah and neatening up and, and yeah putting you're gonna see detail. them in action in a moment anyway and then the foam mat now I've actually not seen you use a mat like this mm -hmm. like this because you've always chopped it up yes when I've seen you yeah I do I've it. got a couple and I chop some of them up into little shapes so that I can felt inside tights and gloves and um, so I can felt inside. So you literally put the piece of foam inside into, yeah. the item you're felting onto. Yeah. Because once you've made an item, you can then attach it onto things, not by sewing or anything. You actually felt the item mm. onto another piece of material, which is ace. Now this is our last um, starter kit, the last of stock that we have. Okay. So you've got eight. Is it eight of each one? I believe ten, I ten. Sorry, of each one. Ten of the medium, ten of the small needles. You've got the end for the needles as well. You've got all that beautiful, beautiful wool. You've got the seven colours there, and then you've got the foam mat. Now the usual price is twenty four ninety five. We're going to do a show offer though for the final few. Nineteen ninety five. We will sell out today, unfortunately. Um, but the great thing is, I have got some extras for you to add to your order as well. Nineteen ninety five. It feels beautiful. It feels beautiful, beautiful. Uh, we've only got 10% left, so we're going to have to move on. Okay, so that was the starter kit. The great news is that if you've already got the starter kit, chances are you now are perhaps at the point where you need to start replenishing your stock. Mm -hmm. So we have got different types of, well, not different types, but different colourways of the wool. And we've also got some more needles because you will have to replace your needles at some point. And also another foam mat. Okay, so the... Should we do this one? Right. This one that we're going to do first are all the colours. Let's have a look at all of this. These are the colours that have made this jewellery, but you've hardly used any of it. No, I've got, I've done another massive piece, several prep pieces, and I have all this left and all that jewellery there. Oh, wow. So, all that jewellery, you've made more prep, prep pieces, yeah. and you've got all of this left as well. It goes such a long way. These colours are beautiful, and they just feel stunning so let's go along and have a look at these pieces and we're going to learn the art of felting in just a moment I've never seen it done like this before no this, this is um this is not what I'm going to show you today this is hopefully what I'm going to bring you at Easter it's um a wet felting process so um Fab. but but you can you can achieve these looks with needle felt so that's wet I'll felting yeah this one is this needle felting or is it's this a bit of both a bit of both Ooh. yeah I'm loving that this is just gorgeous and we are also in a few minutes going to touch on getting the sparkle onto the felt as well the andalina the beautiful colors i love absolutely the colors in that colors. project absolutely yeah. stunning colors and then the pendant on the end mm. just just needle felting yeah oh. that's just needle felting so you'll be able to do that after learning the technique you can show yeah today. yeah once you once you know how to needle felt you know how to needle felt and then that's it it is a very very simple one technique and then you take it wherever you want to I, i've just seen a little something you know how Gemma said sometimes the end of a head pin just pops off and you can glue it into things look that's one of the little hearts yeah Look, like gorgeous detailing. Do you know I've seen these in um, which magazine? It was one of the glossy fashion magazines, and I buy the young ones for the teenagers, not because I, not because of, you know any longing to be a teenager again. Um, just like just fashion <laughs> magazines. <laughs> just I so I can see what is really current, yeah. you know, and what's going to filter through. And the um, felt pictures, felt bags, felt pendants, anything like that is massive yeah huge so um i just popped it in a bezel and it worked really well I just glue it into one of your bezels you know so it's brilliant gorgeous so all of these beautiful colors and it goes such a long way you've got baby yellow baby blue orange crocus purple and spring green this is the spring meadows felt and bundle and uh well should we bring in the prize how much would you expect to pay <laughs> 
for that wool really uh, I, d I don't know that I mean that's a good price I, I bought my first sort of wool at the NEC last year and we did an exhibition and I know I paid a lot more than that for a bun for a small bundle and it was merino wool as well it wasn't any different this is a massive pack massive look it's gorgeous and I love the fact as well that that orange you can make it look really subtle as well when it's mixed in with that sort of sherbetty yellow there right so we're going to learn how to start felting yeah let's go it's lovely it's so relaxing every you know every one of the other designers has gotten into it and, yeah. and finds it quite addictive so it is something that most people no matter what their um, skill base before is a, can you know can do it it's not it's really lightweight to sort of carry around with you as well isn't it yeah. just do it when you've got a few minutes to spare I know a lot of you have uh, messaged us before to say you do a lot of your jewelry making things when you're waiting in the car to pick up the kids from school mm. and after school clubs and things or perhaps you send your husband to do the shopping in the supermarket and you can stay in the car, it'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? It'd be nice. Oh, yeah. The cafe would be better. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or a bar. Yeah. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, just the process, talk you through it, and then um, I use a few other tools at home to help me get shapes if I want uniform shapes. And so if you, chances are you've already got them, they're the um, cutters that come with the, that you get with that you buy for your polymer clay and silver but clay. Could you just use a biscuit cutter, a cake cutter? Any cutter. Anything that gives you yeah. a shape. Anything that gives you a shape. And you, d you don't need it, it's just nice as a guide to work into. Um, the other thing is if you want to combine it with your other mediums, like your clay, because it combines really well with polymer clay and anything like that, you can use this and you've got something the same size, you know, so it's transferable. But what I do then is take a, take a wisp of uh, fibres and you just pull it apart like like that it's so lovely and soft pull it apart and then um, I'm gonna take some of that off and you need a small amount and I'm gonna fill my cutter with it just literally poke it in okay and then take your needle I'm using the fine one um, at the moment generally I do use the fine unless I'm making a big bulky 3d oh, shape okay. um, or I want to get a sheet started very quickly um, then I use the higher the medium gauge Right, so now what you do is, minding your fingers, is you just prod in all over. Do this quite roughly at first, because you want to stop those fibres from jumping out of your... You're just getting... You're basically those. getting all the fibres to knit to each other, aren't you? That's what I'm doing. As, um, as the needle pushes into the felt, the barbs drag the wool through the layers, okay? So they drag the wool right through. And as you pull it out, it just leaves them where they were because it's only barbed in one direction. So as you're doing this, what you're doing is just pushing them together and forcing them to knit and mesh. So if I just shoot this pendant, this is an essence of what Gemma is going to show you how to make. This is beautiful, this is beautiful. Now the uh, graphics on screen for you that are actually working, which is useful, uh, 14.95 is for this massive bundle of the Murano wool in the Spring Meadows colour. Gorgeous colours, there's a lot of it, you don't need much. I mean, it's less than £2.50 a colour. You think all that jewellery has been made on that money? Amazing, you know I mean? and you've got so much left. It is remarkable. You go and have a look online how much felt jewellery is, it's such a lot of money to mm, buy. Mm, it is. Because the, you know, there's not really much mass producing, you can tell it's not been mass produced, you know, it's quite evident with um, felt I think, whether it's artistry or whether it's mass produced. Okay, so you can see I'm just prodding in and out, it's very quick. And I'm probably being a bit slower than I would at home because I'm always worried oh, I'll stab myself on live TV, which is not <laughs> not good, is it? So um, you're just going all the way around your cutter. If you want a really neat edge, you go go into the edges, right in at those edges, and make sure that you've got wool all over evenly, all the way around your shape. If you find you've got a patch that is too thin or there's not enough wool, all you do is take another piece of wool and put it in. I would just like to stress to you, because my producer Martha is having a little bit of a panic, we do want to stress that Gemma is not wearing a plaster on her finger due to a felting no. issue. <laughs> no, it's okay. not. Uh, and just, when you're first starting out, just take it slowly. Yeah, take it slowly. You don't have to, the speed has nothing to do with the technique, is Absolutely it? Absolutely not, no. But, um, you know, at home, 
when I'm in the studio, um, because I'm trying to work at an angle that is, um, you know, yeah, that you know, you're trying to make sure people can see. You, you know, sometimes your judgment isn't quite as good because you're looking at it from a different angle. But I mean, it does, it does happen. You will, you know, you will stab yourself at some point with it. But it's not the end of the world. You know, you you, you do get over it eventually. So you turn it around <laughs> the other side. Then, if you see, I've turned it over. What's happened is all those fibres have pushed through and they've gone into the Fluffy. felt. So I had to peel it out of, the, out of the foam and then just turn it over, pop it back in the cutter and... It's like the back of my uh, little boy's head when he's woken up from a nap. <laughs> yeah. It's like a little fluffy newborn like, chick. Like morning hair, yeah. <laughs> so that's it and then you just go all the way around. You keep doing that until you have the firmness that you want for your piece. Um, so I would keep going until this was as solid as I needed it to be. I mean, for some things you you want it quite fluffy and and soft and squidgy, and some things you want them quite firm. But that is all there is to know really about needle felting. And you felting. know when it's finished because the fibres are uh, sort of that, well, it's not going to tug apart. Yes, it's, that is a strong fabric now, and and now it's just a case of you defining, um, you know, refining it. So it's a strong fabric now. It's perfectly usable. Um, what I would do now is from the sides, I'd go in from the sides and just poke in the fibres from the sides and this also is shaping my piece. All still using the same smaller of the needles. Yeah, um, what you'll find is you can sculpt, if you have a look online at um, artists using felt, what you'll find is they s you can make the most amazing sculptures, you know, even detailed faces and caricatures and things, there's some remarkable things out there. And you, the way you sculpt is when you when you push the needle in, what you're doing is compressing it in that direction that you've just poked your needle in. So if I was to continue, in fact I can demonstrate this, if I continue poking in this one area, you see what's happening. Yeah, you're making a little heart with the wings. Yeah. You keep going and that will become very dense in that area and it will sculpt it into this shape. Oh wow! Okay, so you so you can imagine now getting a big size, a big amount of it, and making a big cushion or something. Yeah, you can. You make soft toys. I mean, they're great yeah. for making soft toys um, and and you know balls. Put put the bells inside for the kids. You know, and no, Christmas tree decorations yeah. and little oh for Easter eggs. There'll be some Easter eggs. Could, yeah. yeah, we're going to be doing Eastery things with the fowl. So. Fab. Um, so that is, you've literally just seen the Spring Meadows Felt Bundle, um, a way over half the stock of that has now gone and it's at 14 95 So where do you want to go to next then Martha Pants? Oh, we were just actually going to show some pictures of some more pieces that Gemma's made with the felt. So here you go, the first one, now this is um, made from the Vibrant Colour Pack which I've got for you. That's I've got for you. Yay! I've got, I'm going to do it in a minute. Yeah. Um, and that pack made a massive amount. Really vibrant, beautiful colours. Look at that on a beret. Oh. Yeah, see, when you do onto a beret, you felt straight onto the beret. So um, with my foam board, I just put my beret over it and then my wool over the top and felt straight in. So you make the piece and then put it on? No. You literally do you it all there? You make it onto the beret, yeah. Oh. So you put you can put you make it separately on? and felt it yeah. on just yeah. in case you're not confident. Yeah, <gasps> but um, you know, a lady I nearly collared her. She walked in this morning. She had the collar of her coat it was all done with like felt roses, and that was just needle felted straight into the wow. coat. It's fabulous! Wow, is that one of our ladies on the course? No, I, no, I've never seen her before. But she was she was in the building. Oh. So. <laughs> I'll have to find out. If I knew her, I, I would have pinched the coat and said, can I borrow it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fab, so. Uh, put in. Somebody's just got the competition right. Oh, good. First person has got uh, got the competition right. Okay, we'll find out if anybody else, it could just be that sole person into the draw, in which case that they win the bead scoop. We'll keep you updated with that. Um, okay, so fourteen ninety five for the Spring Meadows. Should we move on to the brighter bundle? Okay, now this is gorgeous again. Can we see the picture of um, the big uh, the big flower necklace that we just saw a moment ago, please, Direct Claire? Thank you kindly. So you've got the green, you've got like this uh, beautiful corally pink in there, the yellow, the red, the blue and the purple. We're going to do this for the most ridiculous price and it has made such a huge amount. I think the vibrancy of these colours with the deep red, the red, the yellow, the light green, the sky blue and the deep blue, 
seven ninety five. Is that the same weight? No, this is um, this is half. Uh, is yeah, I think it's half the weight of the previous one. Okay. Yeah, amazing. That is a great for price. seven colours, isn't it? It's a real sort of. I, I do think you know if you're going to make. I, I look at this and I'm thinking, oh, that blue's very like Charlie's nursery and things. There's a childlike element to it, and yet you can make incredibly classy if you had, pieces. If you had both, it's nice when you can graduate colours. Oh, you know, look. so like put the the blues and graduate those purples and greens. You know, that's nice yes, when you can do that. Yes, yes. Why did I not think of doing that? Because you're Gemma Crow and you're Ace. Yeah. Lovely. Really lovely. So this vibrant pack is just seven ninety five. You're gonna get ten grams of each colour. Right, so we are going to progress now on to an element that I've never seen done before. Mm. So I'm really excited yeah, about no, this. No, it's just, um, you know, when you get these oh. things home, you want to play with them and you'll experiment with new things. So um, I thought, I wonder what it would look like with Angelina fibres, you know, because they're so lovely and sparkly. Yeah. And um, I don't know, it just added another element to the felt. So um, just, it's so simple. It's exactly the same technique as we did before um, with the needle it. felt, but this time you pull in the Angelina's fibres with it, so I can show you how to and do you that. And you can use these with your enamel as well, can't you? Yeah, you use these with enamel, with clay, um, in other crafts, you know, in your cards. You can iron it to make wrapping paper. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, if you just lay it out oh. and iron it, you make a sheet of paper, you know, a sheet I of it. I did not know that. Yeah, it's fantastic stuff. Oh my word, I've, been really, I've never really worked with it before. It's, it's brilliant stuff, it's so uh, nice. We've, sorry, we've sold out of that one. Oh, virtually. We've got a couple more of those remaining if you want to grab that at seven ninety-five, So we'll bring in the details for the Angelina fibres. So I've got to say, I was, I was at a party uh, that I'd organised on Saturday night and some people got very tipsy and the music was very loud and they were screaming in my ear to like, hello, it was so loud. And so I have just thought I'd tell you my life story. Right, seven different colours. So just staying aside from felt for a moment, if you've mm -hmm. you'd, you could use these by, you literally, what setting do you put your iron on? Um, a low, a low heat, I think. I mean, Liz, I'm so sorry if Liz I'm is actually the best person to ask for this because Liz uses this in all her textiles. Right. And, um, friendly plastic and enamels. Um, but yeah, you just, you can lay it out, just spread it out, iron it between sheets of paper, obviously you don't put your iron straight onto there. Um, and it, it creates like a, a flat sheet of iridescence. You can then stamp into it. Oh, it's great. It's great stuff. Oh, wow. Well, you get seven different colours. You've got this pink, that gorgeous Kate Middleton just got engaged blue, mm -hmm. that fab, vibrant yellow, which will just be brilliant mixed in to give a little flash because it's, I mean, it's quite full on seeing mm. it like that. So mixing it in, um, that's really gorgeous, like look, giving a sparkly colour. Um, gold. And then the lilac and the lime green. They're actually referred to as butterfly blue, crystal amethyst, desert sunset, gold iris, key lime, key lime pie, mm. lemon sparkle, and calypso blue. Uh, seven grams of each colour. Right. Having not had much contact with it before, I'm taking it from my producer that this is an amazing price. So get ready for this. Yes. It's an amazing price. It's seven pounds and fifteen pence. For seven. 0800 655 It's a free phone number. This is going to go on and on and on and on and on, isn't it? Yeah, it does. It does go on and on and on. I mean, I've just taken sort of a handful out of here and it still looks full, you know? So it's, and this has been wow. in the drawer for everybody to use. Cool, so, okay. Mm, great stuff. Right, so all you do with this is you, I'm going to just add it into a bit of, um, bit of my wool. So I'm going to pull off some of my fibres wool fibres and some of my Angelina fibres and I'm going to lay them in together <gasps> and I'm going to do like oh, a process which is a little bit like carding if you've ever done that before when you um, pull wool apart and put it lay it back together so you just pull it apart lay it back together and keep doing this until you sort of your fibres are sort of you know a, a part of your wool almost the evenly spaced night between in the wall and then you felt with that in the exact same way so if I pop this on my board and start um, meshing it down you'll see what happens is the 
fibrous, you know, the wool is sort of encasing and caging it in um, through like a, a net, but you've got those angelina fibers just poking through and showing a bit of ir iridescence. Okay, so just prodding all the way through. Turn it over, do it from the other side. There's a lady on Facebook called Cindy Wood, and she's been taking felt to all sorts of levels since we brought it to the show, which is fabulous. She makes these gorgeous angels. Um, I was going to say, that was really angelic. And um, they, using these fibres in with those angels would look, and mm. fairies would look really beautiful. Okay, so I've got that roughly meshed together. Now what I do is once I've got my um, piece like that, then I would take another layer of my felt just to mesh it in even more, and just to keep the, because these little fibres, they won't felt because they're not barbed in any way, you know, so they're not going to, they're not going to felt to each other. So what I would do now is to just give this, pull my felt pieces of um, strands apart and just lay the fibres over the mm. top and just felt that in over the top and that just sort of adds a little, it's like a semi-transparent window then mm. over the top that's just holding everything in place. Um, keeping the Angelina fibres from popping out. Okay, with the one in the sample piece, I've then popped the iron over it just to make sure it all stays in. Um, it doesn't doesn't you know shoot out or scratch or anything like that. So I've ironed it, ironed it into the design. But if you flip that one over, Lucy, it's mm -hmm. actually as nice from the back as it ah. is from the front. It's sort of the colours yeah. sort of blend into each other yeah. with that little twinkle in the middle. Remember, if you've got any questions for Gemma in the show today, you can text in to 60777 and she's here live to answer your questions. So whether it be about wire work or other work that you've seen her do or the felt, please do feel free to text in and use that facility to, uh, to get your questions answered. Mm -hmm. Fab. Thank you so much. Well, we do just have a couple of little extras. Um, oh, have we got some text, did you say? Oh, let's have a little look at some text. Okay, the first one is from Joan in Derbyshire. Hello, Joan. Hi, Lizzie and Gemma and all. The felt jewellery is perfect for mums for young babies. Mm. Soft, bright and non-scratchy. Yeah. Love you all. And that's from Joan Matlock. Thank you so much, Joan. Good that's thinking. a really good point. Yeah, good really thinking. good point because oh especially when they start grabbing and things. Mm. And yeah, definitely great idea. Thank you for that. Uh, we've got another one as well. Um, this has come in from... Helen in Hampshire, love the felt starter kit, used it to make solar system model for my girls school project. Oh, Needle felted all the planets. She would love to enter then uh, for the wall of fate. Sure. I imagine that would say there. Um, yeah, you should. Helen, that's a great idea. A great idea. So it really does go beyond the world. And then, oh gosh, you get a little bit spacey with the sparkle of the, yeah, uh, that's, yeah. the fibres as well. Be ace. So we have got um, an offer now on just the some little extra bits and pieces that you might need. Which one would you like to do first? Okay, the needling tool with the two needles, uh, two different types of needles. So how long do you think, pardon? Just the wood. <laughs> I think this is the most, this is the funniest thing. <laughs> just, just, just this. Just, just that. <laughs> just, just this at 395. Just this. Here you are. But you need it. Yeah, you do need it. And I, I've got two, and I put an F on one and an M on the other. Oh, so you know which so is your I, fine and which is your medium. So, so I you don't have to flip keep between the two. It's a great yeah. idea. So three ninety five on the wooden handle for the needles, and then we've got which needles would you like to do first, huh? The fine ones for here we go, uh, and you're going to get ten of them, and they of course just fit into the spool or well, the little handle that we've just done. There are 40 gauge, five pounds and 45 pence for 10. That's a very good price. Is it? It is How much would you price. usually expect for 10? Um, about, th about three pounds, between three and four pounds for a pack of two in the local craft store. Really? Yeah. Between three and four pounds for a pack of two. two. And, and you don't even get the same gauge, it's two different gauges. <gasps> 
So, so 5.45 for 10 is amazing. Brilliant. Oh, yeah, and so at what point do you think you'd need to start replacing your needles? Um, the fine ones don't last as long as the medium ones because okay. well, when I do more work with them and two, you're generally going into harder, more firmer pieces of um, of, of felt. Yeah, because it's more detailing. Yeah, because you're detailing and also um, that you know they're they're very fine, so you can snap them by accident. It just happens. You, it's part of the process. Um, so yeah, you get through the final ones quicker. So I don't know. I think probably all my demos, my DVD that I've done so far, I'd say I've probably gotten through the whole ten, and I'm on the okay. next packet. Right. But just well, a, just a tip yes. when you're using your needles. A lot of people say, "Oh, I'm breaking my needle." A tip is only go up and down. You know, only go straight down, straight up. If you start going like this and then pulling out upwards, okay. Because what people do is they tend to go in at one angle and then pull it up in the at the other angle. And then you're going to start so breaking the needle. So move your piece so that you can always go in and out at the same angle. That's okay. that's comfortable for you. That will help limit breakage. Fab. Thank you for that. Now we've got the offer on the medium. So the fine. Um, Gemma's used to paying three four pounds for two mm. we did 5.45 for 10 now we're on to the medium and the medium uh, size gauge again 10 4.45 for 10 for 10 oh wait hundred six trouble four six double five 36 gauge oh hang on a second 4.45 for 10 very good. It is a very good price. Now, how many of you are thinking, hmm, well, I know how much I pay for mine elsewhere. I'm going to buy them from Jewelry Maker. I'm going to put them in packs of two and I'm going to sell, sell them. them yeah. You'd make <laughs> yeah. a nice little profit there. You'd make yeah. an amazing profit. So, 4 45 for those AAFT12. And then our final little extra for you. And I think. From what I know about the felting and the little experience that I've had in it, uh, I have now got a nice little chunk out of mine. Um, it's nice to have a few of these, so you can cut them to the shape of what mm. you're working towards. Literally, I just got my dad to do it with his, <coughs> excuse me, with his pen knife. Yeah. Um, big foam board, and it's four ninety five. Remember, your post and packaging isn't done on size or weight. It's a lightweight piece, but it's very sizable. One post and packaging price at 2.95 all day, and your 30-day money-back guarantee. It's a high-density board, and that makes a difference. Okay. So it's not it's not just a piece of bath sponge, you know, because some people say, "Well, it's just a piece of bath sponge," but it isn't. It's a high-density um, foam. So um, if you're doing it onto a bath sponge, it's got far too much give, and what you'll find is you're coming out through the other end and you're damaging your table and things like that. Okay. So these are the perfect widths so that your needle, this is a proper your needle doesn't go all the way through, even if, you know, so it's just that, that depth so that your needle doesn't poke out the other okay. end. And if you're doing it on your lap, you don't stab yourself in the leg. This is exactly the same type of board that yeah. Gemma's got it here. It is the same. Slightly different colour. Different so four ninety five for the foam base, and it's sold out. Okay, right. Well, I'm just going to scoot over here. Uh, we're going to give Gemma an opportunity to sort of just relax and chill out and drink a coffee for a moment, because then we're going to come back to our <laughs> next kit. Right. Let's have a look. Can I just? Um, <sighs> okay. This is, I, I talked about sapphires yesterday on it. This is quite a hardcore strand <laughs> in terms of the way that um, gemstone hunting is taking place at the moment. So we have a situation. We've got a problem in the jewelry industry and we have a problem within gemology and therefore we have a problem sort of from a, geolo uh, a geology point of view and a, gemo a, a gemology point of view. So there's geology and gemo uh, gemology has hit us with a bit of a problem. And I've, if you've watched the show for the last couple of days, I have been talking about it because I never, it has never occurred to me that one day we won't be able to get coloured sapphire. I've always taken it for granted. 
I've always probably talked about tanzanite, it's being really rare because they're only in one location, chrome diopside being really rare, it's only in one location. Now a gemstone by being called a gemstone has to be, it, it's rare anyway. But the problem that is, has occurred in the industry has happened within the last six months. And the problem is Steve Bennett, who is one of the owners of the company, is one of the most important gem hunters in the world and as a result of his passion for gemstones has created the genuine gemstone company under the umbrella of gemporia of which we are a part so we are as a collective one of the largest sources of genuine gemstones in the world now steve because of his buying power and his high status within the gemology industry knows exactly what's going on at all given moments and if anyone can get hold of gemstones, pretty much Steve can. In the last six months, Steve Bennett has not been able to get hold of any coloured sapphires. Who was sit forecasting that? Where has that come from? In the last six months, Steve has not been able to buy any coloured sapphires. Oh my goodness. This is massive news. It's not to say that none will ever be sourced ever again. There may well be new deposits that have been found, but surely they'd have been found by now in the last six months, wouldn't they? Who knows what might happen next year? But as the industry stands at the moment, Gems TV, Rocks TV and The Lounge, our sister channels, are have in stock their last supplies of coloured sapphire jewellery. The same is going to apply to you. How long are you going to be able to get hold of a gemstone? That, I'm going to put my hands up. I totally 100% never thought twice that we would ever have a problem getting hold of it. Can you imagine walking down your high street and not seeing a coloured sapphire piece of jewellery in a sh jewel shop window because we're getting to that point. So it's a case of buy it while we've got it. Now the reason we've got it is because we haven't gone to a different supplier for this. This has been all done in-house. Now it's a gemstone strand of distinction. It is so beautiful. Look at these, oh. So just in terms of the um, sort of how we've got it, in, this was probably sourced maybe around June, July of last year. It's taken directly from the source to our very own workshops in Jaipur in India. And in Jaipur in India, we do the whole process in-house. And doing the whole process in-house, we're able to keep the cost down for you. So we've cut it, faceted it. Um, if it's had any treatments, it's done all the treatments in-house, drilled, stranded, and coming directly to you. So you're going to save money by buying it directly from us in our workshops that has been put in our workshops in uh, Jaipur in India. It's been sourced in Africa. It's been then taken to our workshops in India to be put into the strand that it is. Oh my goodness, it is mega news. It is huge news about the scarcity of this gemstone now. Now it is stunning. In terms of jewellery making, it's drilled for you. It's beautifully colour matched. It's stunningly faceted. And it's a blue sapphire. How many of you make black bridal jewellery and you have your something blue for a bride just hidden in there somewhere? And a tiara, a little blue sapphire. Or you make a beautiful blue sapphire bracelet. Or you, you know, these, these are genuine blue sapphires. If I was to count these, we could be here for quite some time. Um, Amelia, please may I have the um, white foam board? Thank you. Now look at these. I cannot stress to you the I don't I don't want you to feel that you I'm scaremongering you into buying it but it's just the reality it is it, it, the situation is what it is WQGZ94 The sparkle the elegance they are absolutely stunning now you can see an h in brackets there that means that these have been heat treated so they have been taken to an incredibly high temperature to draw out the natural blue that's within there 
So they haven't been colour treated, they've simply gone through a heating process. So really, I classify that as an organic gemstone that's, because there's no, there's no chemical that's gone into that at all, that's simply gone through a heating process. Now there's 15 carats, they're going from a 2 by one up to a 3 by 2 We've got multiple people, well, people multi-buying. WQG said nine four. Now, to, because of the rarity, I, I don't want to imply a worth or a value on them, but I think you know if we could do these under. I think if we could do these under sixty pounds, we'd be offering something great, don't you? We're going to go under 40 pounds we're actually going to 24.95 on these today now remember here at jewelry maker we could easily go do you know what it's really really rare at the moment we can probably get more money for that we'd lose your trust we would absolutely lose your trust if we were to put these up at a higher price than we were be able to do them at. Because you know what we're about. And we're about being one of the largest sources for genuine gemstones in the world, doing things in house as much as possible, and therefore you get lower prices. $24.95 does not imply a worth or a value either. They are stunning. They are stunning, stunning, stunning. And if you get them home, and it's not everything you want them to be. You've also got the reassurance of the fact that you've got a 30 day money back guarantee, but they're rare. They're really, really, really rare. And they're stunning. Look at the sparkle on those. To do these under 40 pounds is amazing. To do these under 40 pounds is amazing. And they come with all the prestige. You know, this is a gemstone strand of distinction. This is one of the big top four in the world. So alongside diamonds, alongside rubies, alongside emeralds, hello, hello, a little bit of sapphire in there. Gemma, you're looking at these quite longingly. I, I am thinking, you know, that they buying those would make me want to go and learn how to do silver clay and, you know, really up my game with yeah. quality yeah. of materials because they're just so beautiful. They are incredibly, incredibly beautiful. I do. You've got the 30 day money back guarantee. If you're going to, the fact is, okay, obviously I work for jewelry maker. I think it's fab, but the reality is price compared to other places, quality compared to other places. Please do, please, please do. We've been inundated with reviews on um, our blue sapphires saying how stunning they are. Um, are we able to bring any of those reviews up at the moment? We are having graphical issues. Um, the answer to that is no, because of our graphical issues. But there is proof of previous people who have bought blue sapphires from us and all of our high-end gemstones. We're not talking, <laughs> it's mind boggling. Mm. And I think I completely agree, Gemma. It's time to, it, maybe it is time to up your game or maybe it's time to just go full on on if I'm going to buy a gemstone I'm going to buy one in the top four in the world oh, 0800 six triple four six double five you've got that 30 day money back guarantee what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to not get this and then think ah oh, you know next September oh what shall I do for my friend's birthday a sapphire piece of jewelry oh I can't get it <laughs> I can't promise you that we're never going to be able to provide you with a coloured sapphire again, but what I can promise you is that there is a scary scenario in the gemstone world at the moment regarding this. If you have got that, please can you send in your Wall of Fame entries, and if you get your piece of jewellery valued that you have had made, can you please let us know what the outcome is? Twenty-four ninety-five. They are just so beautiful. Um, now, let's do forbidden fruit. Oh, 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 I love it. Do you know what? Scrap looking at this, see it in context. Look at this jewelry. Look, look. You are going to be able to make this jewelry from the kit I'm about to do for you at a bargain price. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. 
Gemma Crow. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful kit. Beautiful what colours. What a beautiful kit. I've separated it into two separate collections because I think you've got a you know more fun contemporary collection and you've got a really elegant collection with just the silver and you know just the silver elements showing. Do you know what I'd like to do? Mm -hmm. I want to have a bit of a swap around so we can sort of identify two collections a little bit more if that's okay. Is that all right with you, Gemma? Mm. Yeah. If I do this now, every single one of you who purchases this kit will be entered into a draw. To win, which piece of jewellery would you like to give away, Gemma Crow? Um, I think that one. This one here. Every single one of you who purchases this kit will be entered into a draw, completely complimentary for buying the kit. And one of you will be drawn out of the draw. And if we pull out your name and your customer number, you will be sent this piece of jewellery alongside your kit. So by buying the kits, you're entered into a free draw and the person who buys, the, who wins, will have this piece of jewellery sent to you for free. So let's remember everything that you see here, all the ingredients that, you, that Gemma has used, everything, there is not one element that you don't get in the kit. You can use absolutely, well, everything. You've got mm -hmm. everything that you need. So I love this. Please tell me we're going to learn how to do something with wire in this kit. No, I haven't got that one set up. It's on oh, the bangle. Yeah. <gasps> I was going to say, or oh, this one. Yeah. Look at that. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Now, you're going to get the wire for free in that kit. We're going to give you the wire for free today. Buying this kit, you get the wire for free. So, you've got these beautiful Amazonite puffy coins. Mm. They look amazing with that wire. Yeah, they're great together, don't they? Really fab. Really fab. Oh, we need to bring the price in on this kit because people are chomping at the bit. Now, the whole contents of the kit should be £44.20. Which is amazing because look, you've got cloudy quartz, you've got amazonite, lavender amethyst, one of our most popular gemstones. And uh, the lavender, oh well, they're all, remember, the beads that you're seeing are genuine gemstones. You've then got a hundred of the copper findings, silver flash copper findings. You've got all of the beading, uh, the threading materials, so 50 meters of beading thread, 60 meters clear elastic, 80 meters of monofilament. And then you've got uh, 10 meters of the one mil gauge wire as well. Are you ready for the price today? Should we take it to 39.95? No. Should we take it to 34.95? No. 32.95? No. Under 30 pounds, but it's on a first come first serve basis because I'm afraid we don't have that many of them. You remember, you get the wire for free today with this kit, you get the wire for free. So two very different looks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's this a bit more of sort of a funky, fun element yeah, maybe, to that one, isn't Maybe it? a good Mother's Day mum and daughter kit, you know? What a great idea. Mm. What a great, great idea. So one aspect, <gasps> and you can do all of this as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, nine pieces of genuine gemstone jewellery. Remember, all of this will be photographed in detail and put up onto the website as well. So you do get, now, the cloudy quartz, Gorgeous. It's so. I don't think I've ever seen it faceted before. I don't know. I don't know if I have. But you know, I was thinking, is this labradorite? Because what happens is it picks up the colours behind it. So you get these flashes of. I was thinking, I've never seen purple flash in labradorite like this. But it was because it was picking up the the amethyst. The amethyst. Inside inside it. Wow. Of course, it's not. It's not um, labradorite at all. It's that got that beautiful tone. That oh, it's lovely, lovely gemstone. It oh. is really lovely. I think that's my favourite agate, actually. I think I'm with yeah, you. My favourite quartz, quartz yeah. yeah. My favourite of all of them. Gorgeous. There is the amethyst, also um, faceted. These are stunning. Faceted. <gasps> you see, don't you think the price of 29 just for those is ace? So... £29.95. Um, let's have a look at the demo then. So we're going to Good learn thing. how to make this bracelet here. Yep. Yep. Okay, I'm just going to move this over so we can see. Yep. Um, so what I've got is I've taken um, a couple of lengths of my um, wire, 
It's a one millimetre wire, but it's so soft, this coloured wire. I don't know what it is about this colour, but it's softer than all the others. Oh, really? Yeah. Fab. So if you're just yeah. starting out on one mil, you've been a bit scared yeah. of the te sort of how how hard it is usually. Yeah. It's, um, okay. It is the softest of all the wires. Apparently, we've just had a text in from Pauline, did you say? Pauline, in my home county of Cheshire, oh my word, Gemma's designs and the Forbidden Fruits kit are totally amazing, be amazingly beautiful. Pauline in Cheshire, should we have a look at them properly again? Thank you for texting yeah, in that, thank Pauline. thank you, Pauline, that's lovely. And then, ah, oh, and then if we just go down below these, look, 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 look. Yeah, and then another pair of earrings. And then if we pick up here, there's another pair of earrings. Remember, all of this is from one kit. And then a whole complete set here. Those are my favorite earrings, those. I like those little earrings. Mm. They're stunning. Yeah, the findings really, make those, them. don't they? Can I have them? Yeah. I'm <laughs> Ask Paul or Leisure. No. <laughs> Paul, I'm having the earrings. I'm stealing them. I won't come up to the office after the show. Bye. <laughs> okay, so I'm using the multi mandrel, which, if you got that starter kit earlier, be in there. And I'm just going to lay my wire. What I've done, I've joined it together for, um, so that we can go through the whole demo, really. What I do is just, I've taken both wires together, just hold them together. And like I said, they're very soft, so they, you can work with them together. And I've popped them on one of the, it's up to you on the size, one of the um, squares on the multi mandrel, lay it around the side, press it down and push against the side of that mandrel. Okay, and then take your mandrel the other side, hold the wire against the mandrel and push it back the other way so that you create this zigzag. Okay, and then you'll get the zigzag and you just need to put as many of those in as you need for your wrist. Um, I think that one there has has six, or no, five. It actually has five of these zigzags, and that's that made the perfect size for my wrist, which is roughly standard. Okay, and then what I've done is I've taken those two lengths of wire and I've bound them together with another piece of wire, quite roughly. You don't have to be neat, and um, that's the great thing about this design it is you can be quite um, untidy, and it doesn't matter really. So I've kept it on the reel of wire because I don't know quite how much I'm going to need yet. So I've kept the long length onto the reel and I've taken a length, um, the tail I've left to thread my gemstones onto. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to thread a grey um, a cloudy, cloudy quartz on, um, then one of my amethyst and then another cloudy quartz. The great thing about these gems is all the drill holes are big enough on every gem for the one mil for wire. One mil. Wow, yeah, that's so that quite was, rarity. It was. It was a very. Um, it was good to have that because yeah. then it offered a lot of versatility. Okay, so then all you do is you take this tail wire that I've still got attached to my reel. If you want to cut it off, it's getting in your way. Then fine, cut it off. Um, all I do then is bring that over the front. I just straighten out a little bit with my finger, just when it's straighter. Just lay it over the top quite loosely. This first one probably is the hardest to get in, but then after that it's really easy. Okay, lay it over the top and go around where that diamond where the edges of those diamonds meet together. Okay, just wrap tightly around. So I've gone all the way around once. And you can go around and straighten things up after. Okay, so I've got that one in, and then I'd add another one, another um, gem, small gemstones. This is, it wants to travel around this. <laughs> Difficult to keep it still. Um. Threading on again, three gemstones, whatever, whatever fits for you. You know, you could just use three of the agate or three of the quartz. I mean, instead. Okay, and what I do is I just adjust, adjust these um, squares by pushing them together so that they sort of come and flush up against the end of your gemstones. So go over, bring that over again. 
wrap it around. <laughs> it is. Okay, at home, I, do, I <laughs> tuck all this under my arm as I'm working at home. All the, my loose wires, like this, tuck under my arm. Oh, okay. And then it's, they're not getting in the way while I wrap, so I'm like this. It's a bit like knitting. You'll find techniques where you can keep things tucked away. So that's, and it's sort of, they're so springy. It's difficult working out in front of you like this. Um, again, thread your gemstones on. You keep going like that with all the gem until you've done the whole length of your um, bracelet. And then what you'll do, I'm going to cut this off because otherwise it is getting quite difficult to hold on to. So then what you'll do is you take your wire, we'll pretend that's finished, and you'll then come round and take your wire in the opposite direction and lay it over over mm. the top in that direction, okay? And then Yum. flick it round. <laughs> it's yummy. And the same, this one, the opposite direction. Wrap it around a couple of times. And I did that twice, so then I come back again the other direction. And I want them to sit on the outside of each other so that you get this sort of layered S. So it's almost woven when you finish. Okay, so that's just laying over the top. I'm not putting tension in, I'm laying it over so that I get this slight curve and rise in this part of the design. Um, hold it in place, wrap it round, and again, lay it over the top of this, this way, wrap it round, and again. And you can keep doing this many times you like. I did it twice, so up and down twice. So that comes over, wrap around, over, wrap around. You can see how that quickly builds up. And then the ends, you can add a clasp however you want there's um you can make these into a hook and the other end do a loop um or you can attach a clasp you know a ready-made clasp if you're not feeling confident or to be honest it's quite a if you keep going up and down several times you can get quite a sturdy bangle that won't need a clasp you can oh literally wow, okay. um, clip it on um you know mold it to your own wrist and it will stay on Director Claire just said she loves it. It looks like the beads are just floating. Ooh, it does sorry, a bit, I doesn't it? That. It does, yeah. yeah. Yeah, gorgeous. We've had another text in. And it says, this is from Heidi. Hi, Heidi. Hi, all. Gemma, my mojo has been gone since Christmas. And after seeing your ideas today, you have made me put the hoover down yes. and pulled out <laughs> my gems. Good for Heidi. you. Heidi. <laughs> Archie, oh, totally with you. Sometimes you just need a little something to go, oh, yeah, and your mojo's back. Yeah, yeah. I've I struggled with my mojo a few times over Christmas, and the people sent me so many ideas on how to get it back. It was brilliant. So if you go on my wall and just have a look for that post, you'll find about two hundred ideas for how to get your mojo back. And so the best way to find you on Facebook is um, just my name. There's three pages will come up if you type Gemma Crow. There's my JM, mine, and my business one. Great, um, fab. Not hard to find. No, and she's quite <laughs> distinctive jewellery. That's just literally. Yeah. Amazing. Um, Gemma, thank you so much. You're welcome. Amazing, amazing. Um, remember, we are doing a competition. We'll recap that shortly. But right now, let's go and find out what people have been doing with their mojo when they have their mojo on the Wall of Fame. <coughs> So, let's have a look, quick look at these. Um, we are expecting Liz Welsh in the studio very, very soon. So we're just gonna do names and numbers on these. This is 196 and this is from Jan. This is really gorgeous. Beautiful. Love those colors of Amazonite. I've got those drops. Have you? Yeah. It says, please pick me on Wednesday. <laughs> we'll try our best, hun, 196. I've got 197. It's absolutely gorgeous, loads of colors it says. Um, it's from Brian Hart and he says, I bought this whole kit a couple of weeks ago. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them, but I saw a demo the other night. Um, can't remember the lady's name, but she is really good and it makes it look, made it look so easy. Um, I'm driving my husband mad. I'm really addicted to your program. I just have to get, I just have to have a go at all I see. Um, I had to do it slightly different from the designers, but I hope you like my attempt, or well, we do. Lots of love to you all, and the crazy presenters from Trish. 
It's Trish, a lovely that Trish. That is gorgeous, hun. Really, really gorgeous. Really lovely. I like your uh, display bus. That's ace. Yeah. Uh, number 198, and this is from Claudia in Nuneaton. And uh, it's, some time ago, my daughter's friend announced she was getting married. And uh, we've known her for a while, so she promised her jewellery for her wedding present. Absolutely mm. gorgeous. She's asking when the Makes for Men DVD will be back in stock. Well, we are hoping for it to be back in stock imminently because, Claudia, hun, you're not the first person to ask. 198, and that DVD is, yeah. Well, it's my husband and Mark just plonking around doing gents jewellery. It's quite cool. So uh, we'll let you know when it's back in stock. I've got 199 and this is lovely. It's from Namisha Karia. I think that's how you say it. Beautiful name. Um, this is my entry to mm. this week's Wall of Fame. It is a two strand necklace made with fluorite and rose quartz cubes. I find it difficult to photograph to show off the soft colours, but I'm pleased with how it has turned out. Um, as initially, I was confused about what to make with the cubes. Is it possible to get some of the chain that comes in the findings pack on its own? I've seen a reel of chain on the shows, but can't find it on the website. So, but good luck to everybody on the Wall of Fame mm. this week. It would be nice, wouldn't it, to get this chain in the reels? Yeah. Well, believe me, you're not the first person to ask for no. that either. And everything has been taken note of, and the powers that be have their requests, and they are working hard they on are working making hard. your requests come true. Uh, number 200, absolutely beautiful. And this is from Christine. And she said this actually, this combination came together by accident when uh, using the beads for other pieces. It's a delicate, dainty feel to this set, and she's very pleased with the outcome, especially as it wasn't planned. She's wishing luck to everybody who enters, and that's number 200 from Christine. So, well, because it's Mix It Up Tuesday and we're doing things a little bit differently, we're actually going to say goodbye to Gemma now. You don't want me anymore. We do want you. We do want you. It's all right, I'm going to have coffee with, with Linda. Oh, yeah, when the buffet comes in, sneakers in a sandwich. You won't see me for 18 days. It's my longest stint ever without coming to the studio. Why? <laughs> and even then, I'm not on the screen. No, I am. I am. I'm back in on the 15th, I think, of next month for a day show. Well... We will miss you. I'm going dancing. I've got a competition to win. Oh, yes. yeah. She's off, and, off in a dance competition. <laughs> so she's really busy. It's not that we don't want her. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Gemma Crow, everybody. We need her in our lives. But don't go anywhere because our next hour is going to be even more different because for the last hour of this show, we're going to be having Liz Welsh. And we're going to talk to a couple of different mediums, have a little, de little demo with something, and we're going to go into the ones of uh, jewel enamel. But we're going to go to a break. When we come back from the break, we're going to talk again about the competition. Only one person's got it right so far. I can't believe that. I can't believe so that. don't go anywhere. Jim Crow, have a fab time. Good luck for the competition. Thank you. you guys have got bargains galore and Liz Walsh. I'll just be here. Just stay watching. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information. Add a mystery gift to your order today and you'll receive a surprise full of fantastic treats and goodies with a huge saving guaranteed. Check out our online reviews from Jewelry Maker customers who have previously purchased one of these mystery gifts. Go on, treat yourself with a little gift. If you miss a Jewelry Maker show, then simply go to our YouTube page where you'll be able to find hours of Jewelry Maker footage. Search by show, date or type. Alternatively, search by guest designer by using our playlist page. You can also find hours of tutorials with handy hints and tips to give you inspiration. Our YouTube page is updated on a daily basis so you can access any show at any time. Stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. Get involved with Jewelry Maker by sending the studio a message during our live hours. 
You can send a text to 60777 and start your message with JM Studio or alternatively, go to our website and click on Watch the Live Show. Simply type your message into the box and press send. Make sure you stay tuned in case your message is read out. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. On the 25th of February, come join us on Jewelry Maker to see our Mix Up Tuesday show. We're shaking things up and presenting you with a different theme every hour. So it's fast paced and loads to see this Mix Up Tuesday on Jewelry Maker. Well, we are doing Mix It Up Tuesday and uh, Amelia, quick, Mix It Up Tuesday dance. Oh, goodness. Ready? <laughs> there you go. I love her. Why did you dance? Because it was your dance. Oh. I didn't want to, you know. I did miss Gemma, I have to say. You did miss yeah. Gemma on that one, didn't you? Right, let's carry on, shall we? Lovely. Okay, this is Mixing Up Tuesday. We're doing things a bit differently, so we've now said goodbye to Gemma. She's going to have a cup of coffee with Linda, and then we've got Liz Welsh joining us imminently. So, this gemstone is amazing because I don't think you can compare it to any other green of any other gemstone in the world ever, anywhere. Can you? It's Peridone. Now, Peridone is August birthstone, and it's also known as the luckiest gemstone in the gem zodiac. In fact, I'm going to tell you a very interesting fact about this. Peridot was one of the first gemstones to be used in handmade jewellery. And until the days of beading thread, and I'm talking hundreds of years ago, do you know how people used to wear their peridot? And it was very, if you could afford peridot, it was a hierarchy statement. And it was, um, it was, a, it was basically worn as luck. A lot of people would give this as luck. And in fact, you see a lot of peridot um, in the um, coats of armour when we're talking about wars and battles way back in the, say, the 1400s. If you look at suits of armour, there's peridot embellished into it um, for, for basically, it was for luck. It was a symbol of luck. But when it was first worn in jewellery, this isn't really outside, this isn't very nice, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Um, they didn't have beanie thread or monofilament, it was stranded on donkey hair. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you because it might be misconstrued, but there's another name for donkey and that's what, yeah. Yeah, right. This is, I mean, it is an amazing gemstone, it, but it's the electric green that you'll see from the quality of this strand. Look at this. And you know what, that color, that hasn't been heat treated. That hasn't been color treated. It's completely natural. 45 carats in this strand. And what I love about them is we are inundated. You know, some of the strands of gemstones, when they're bigger strands, or some of the gemstone strands of distinction, come with the little glass spaces in between. We are always inundated with requests. Can we provide those spaces? And this has an element of that sort of spacer bead esqueness about it. Does that make sense? Mm. Look at the sparkle. They're a lovely neon green, aren't they? Now it's a 30 centimetre strand. But here we go. Telltale sign. Tassels. That means that these have been sourced and mined in, um, well, mined for you in China. A very, very popular uh, location for the discovery of Peridot. And in fact, um, if you watch Gems TV, one of our sister channels, we um, have footage of Steve in the mountains sourcing while well, going to our, um, our suppliers of the gemstone and him hand choosing the peridots. Look at those, look at that sparkle. Ooh, what color would you, would you do silver? Would you do gold or would you do rose gold? Would you do copper? Would you do different color wire with it? Let me have a look at the size holes on this. Yeah, they're quite slim dinky holes. You wouldn't get, you'd probably get, you'd get your point four through. You get your point through, four through wire. Uh, through you get your point four wire through there. Oh, 0800 644 655. Right, we're gonna go 
under 15 pounds on these 45 carats 30 centimeter strand so they've been sourced for you Jemson has been sourced in China. It's been then taken directly to our workshops in Jaipur in India, where they've been perfectly color matched. They've been cut, they've been faceted, and that's what's able to give these gorgeous little sparkle. And then stranded onto the strand specifically for you. Now, this is also an amazing gemstone because did you know, and it was actually massively in the news in, um, in probably in the mid 2000s, um, in 2003, NASA actually discovered peridot on Mars. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Just another little, you know, if you sell your jewellery and you want to tell people a story about it when they're buying your, their Peridot jewellery, not only is it a symbol of luck, but it's also been discovered on Mars. Amazing, isn't it? It's cool. That's really cool. Should we do an amazing price for you? Ah, we're jewellery maker. Let's do it. Um, not, oh, you cheeky little minx. Fourteen ninety-five. Not today. We're doing Mix It Up Tuesday. What are we doing, Amelia? Mm. <laughs> We do mix it up Tuesday. What are we doing, Amelia? We're doing a mix it up a Tuesday. <laughs> Lovely, and there's the Italian not coming out. Lovely. Um, Nine ninety-five. They've got a good hardness level as well. They're a six point five on the most scale. So, and you've got the presence of all the iron in there, which is giving this the amazing green tone. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous so 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 pretty it's an incredibly it's an incredibly sought after gemstone and it's a very old gemstone you know it's a, there's talk in the bible of uh, peridot being mentioned i just keep moving it look would you like to see how little i am moving my hand ready this is how little i move my hand look at the sparkle Shall I pop this up to the neckline as well? I'm just going to, I'm going to literally move, look at twinkle. That is beautiful, isn't it? 9 95 on those. They're the type of gemstone as well, you could just pop on the back of a design and it's a little, oh, just a little symbol of luck with your designs. Which one are we going to next, sorry? Okay. If we had music, I would say stop the music because this is a big deal. This is a really big deal. Not only because of the gemstone that it is, but my word, I think that this is the largest kunzite we've ever had on this channel. Fact, Amelia, mm. please may I have some wire cutters? Yeah. I'm gonna chop it up. Mm. Actually, if you just have a look at this, can you see those little spaces? That's what I was meaning about comparison to the Peridot. Thank you, lovely. I actually only need those, darling. That's fine. Thank you. Okay. I want to cut these up because I want to show to you how stunning these are. Now, you are looking here at one of the world's most collectible gemstones. And until not too long ago, you could actually only buy it in Tiffany Jewelers. I had talked very frequently on air about a gemologist and a gem hunter called George Frederick Kunz. Now he was the gentleman who discovered this gemstone. He was, um, and to this day, is one of the most exciting gemstone hunters to have ever lived. At the age of 17, and I know I've, for those of you who are regular viewers, you'll know this story, but we have plenty of people who haven't heard it. Did you know, have you not heard this, Martha? At the age of 17, George Frederick Kunz had one of the largest personal collections of genuine gemstones ever known. At the age of 17, and he was displaying those in the Smithsonian Museum in New York. Needless to say, I mean, he, from a very, very, very young age, his proper gem hunting started around about the age of 14, and he used to go up into the Waichung Mountains and, and discover things that had literally never been discovered before. Now, this gemstone was discovered in the early 1900s, and when Tiffany Jewellers heard about George Frederick Kunz, how young he was and yet he had his own display at the Smithsonian Museum needless to say they snapped him up and by the age of 19 years old 
He was on the board of directors at Tiffany Jewelers. Wow. So we're talking about a gemstone steeped in history, steeped in legacy, and really rare, really rare. So what is it that's so alluring about this gemstone? Well, look at the colours. The colours are delicate pinks. They're like almost like a fluffy marshmallow hue that you've got going on. And this is completely natural as well. Now, what you have the absolute privilege of owning with this strand, and I see it as an absolute privilege, is seeing kunzite in its natural state. All that's happened is that they have been cut and they've just been highly, highly, highly polished and then drilled. Now, Mark was on the show yesterday and he was talking about the fact that he buys these strands in order to display them on his, uh, on his craft stalls where he sells his jewellery. Let's have a look at one of these in more detail. I won't go for the largest or the smallest. I'll go for a mid-range size. And let's have a look at the pinks. Slightly comparable to a beautiful, high-quality rose quartz in terms of its colour. But Kunzite's lovely because it goes from a delicate, very clear essence of pink to this rich, intense. And then you've got sort of a little bit more of a lavender hue as well. So natural Kunzite, of which you're going to get, takes you on a little bit of a journey in terms of the colours. But it's the size of them that's really impressive for the price you're going to get for these, and particularly the carat weights, 140 carats. Now, there's various different ways that we've seen our designers using these as well, and it's very, um, do you know, they, they are going really, really quickly already, so I would urge you, if you're thinking about to get in these. Um... Right. Hi oh. Do you know what? From everything I've just said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, Martha is fab at her job. And this proves what we do as a company. Everything I've just told you, I don't want your, the price to come on screen to devalue your expectations of this gemstone. Because there's not a chance I'd have expected the price that's coming on screen. This proves the buying power of the company. You are getting, ta you are getting the most tantalising, exquisite gemstone for eleven ninety-five. I don't want you to think that that is implying a worth or a value. What it is implying is you're categorically one hundred percent getting a price that is indicative of the buying power of jewellery maker within the genuine gemstone company. This is phenomenal. That is a full strand of one hundred and forty carats. These are going to sell out. This is eleven ninety five. It is eleven ninety five. And if you want more than one of those strands, today is the day to get them because today is the offer. It's brand new. It's never been seen before. This is a new strand launch for you today. And it is a, it is an amazing, amazing gemstone to own. It's a phenomenal gemstone, and it's a phenomena of a gemstone. It's a very romantic colour. It's a very feminine colour. It's feminine and it's classy. It's sophisticated and it's elegant. And until very, very recently, you were only able to get it at Tiffany Jewellers. ISRU46. So in terms of the jewellery that you're going to be able to make with these, I mean, lots of caging of beads are, uh, would be taking place. I think what would be fabulous, Rachel Norris, whose DVD we have been uh, able to bring back in stock for you today. Rachel does these amazing designs, which are just chunky coil bangles on one gemstone. One gem, or um, a, a coil bangle and one chunky gemstone either side and then a big fabulous mm clasp. You know, one of them. And silver wire with it, rose gold wire with it. Would you go a completely different way? Would you go all out and go fuchsia wire with it? The decision is yours, and that's where your artistic license can really go in. I mean, eleven ninety-five. We're going to do some rubies next. Oh, we thought we'd just chuck some rubies in there. <laughs> and just, just out of interest, do we have anybody else who's won the, who's got the right? Amazing, only one person so far has got our competition right. Can we have a quick flash up of the face? 
Right, that face is made up of three very, 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 very well-known people as part of Jewelry Maker. It's made up one person. We need you to text in the three people. You've only got 20 minutes left to text in. 60777, start your text message, JM Studio. And all you need to do is text in your customer number and the three people that you think that face has been made up of. And uh, all of you who get it right will be put into uh, a drawer and by the end of the show we'll find out who's won the bead scoop that's currently sat in a champagne glass. Um, only one person's got it right so far, it's hilarious. We have had hundreds of text messages. 11.95 on that. Now we're going to go to Ruby, 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 Ruby. Oh, oh, oh. Do you, do you, do you, do you? Oh, 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 oh. Right. Oh, I've just done that wrong. I got some rubies. <laughs> rubies. What do you say about rubies that are going under £10 for a strand? I mean, what do you say about genuine rubies that are completely natural going under £10? A hundred carats of rubies. Now, we're talking an 18 centimetre strand. We had some rubies on yesterday, but these are actually, you've got potential to get some bigger ones here as well. Rubies going under £10. I want to see those phone lines go absolutely bonkers and chocker, chocker, chocker. It's Indian ruby. It's stunningly rich in colour. Oh, now, we have had some incredible pieces of jewellery sent into the Wall of Fame yesterday. And one of our regular viewers uh, sent in a beautiful piece of um, Indian inspired jewellery yesterday. I can see this working with the gold in exactly the same way. It'd be beautiful. Oh, it'd be beautiful. Now, these are genuine rubies. 15th and 40th wedding anniversary. 15th, don't let that one slip your mind because everyone thinks 40th wedding anniversary ruby. You actually have a little mini anniversary symbolized by ruby at 15, uh, 15 years. Oh, 800, six double four, six double five. Z U R U one eight two hundred carats. A hundred carats of rubies, three by one up to a ten by four. It's an eighteen centimetre strand. We're going under ten pounds for your mix it up Tuesday on Ruby 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 Ruby. Can you confirm the are these natural they've been heat treated? Just bear with me. Yeah, they are completely natural. So, so just had to double check just because of the price and the size of them. They are completely natural rubies. Um, it's quite irritating how they don't look like they look in real life on your TV screen. That's really annoying. They, they have an amazing iridescence in real life and they have a much more of a ruby red. They're looking quite um, dull on your TV screen. The, yeah, the TV is not doing these justice at all. But you don't just have to take my word for it. Remember, you've got a 30 day money back guarantee on absolutely everything that you purchase here. And it's only one post and packaging price. So if you've made a purchase today, oh, I'll well, have 100 carats of rubies for less than a 10. I'll whack them on the order. Have them. You deserve them. You deserve rubies in your life on 0800 655. July's birthstone, folks. July's birthstone. It's crazy isn't it to think July is fastly approaching 0800 644 655 we are approaching the arrival of Liz Welsh I'm so excited I've met her a number of times and never actually worked with her before I feel very privileged with Gemma Crow and Liz Welsh on the show this morning how fabulous 995 on these ZR sorry ZURU18 gorgeous rich intense colours and at the end of the day it's real ruby 
flame red, intense red, almost verging on a sort of pomegranate garnet-esque red. But of course, you're looking at all the properties that come alongside Ruby, one of the main gemstones in the world. You've had the chance to buy sapphires and rubies, two of the big four in today's show. You are getting an amazing intensity of colour here. Absolutely amazing intensity of colour. Okay, there's lots and lots and lots of you buying these right now. Uh, we've got you flying in. Well done, Kathleen, Adela, um, Jane, Sheila, Julia. Lots of anonymous people there. Susan, congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, you can tell it's brewing towards the end of the show, can't you? nine pounds and 95 pence i've got a very exciting night tomorrow night that i think will might inspire some of my jewelry what, what are you looking for for your inspiration at the moment what are you looking for? you know we're talking about what you're looking forward to i've completely forgotten that one of my husband's christmas presents from me is we're going to the rsc tomorrow night we're going to see wendy and peter pan and there's people flying over we're going on a date night I know, my mum's babysitting, I'm so excited. But apparently it's a very magical, mystical show. So I'm hoping to get lots of inspiration for magical, mystical jewellery, like the um, the pieces that Gemma was making earlier. Yeah, 9 95 just to tell you my life story. I could do. 9 95 0800 655 Liz Welsh is coming imminently, but I do want to squeeze in another fabulous piece. And what I'm talking about in terms of magical and mystical is really summed up in this next strand. It really is. Um, sort of the essence of Peter Pan, Midsummer Night's Dream. It's all sort of got this theatrical, fabulous freshness, sparkly art. Everything is summed up here for me. Now these are immense. They're cushion cut. We, I don't remember the last time we had a cushion cut gemstone on this show. We deserve more cushion cuts, don't we? What's really fab as well is because the way they've been cut is you don't have to see the hole. You don't actually have to use a drill hole. You could set this into perhaps a piece of silver clay, copper clay, bronze clay. Um, you could perhaps use this within your polymer clay. Because if it's a cushion cut, because it's a cushion cut, I should say, I think they'd look amazing as a ring. Wouldn't that be fab set as a ring? Look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now they graduate from an 11 up to a 15 millimeter, aren't they stunning? <gasps> you didn't need one of those in a design. How about using that alongside some of the chartreuse wire? VJRU62. It's such a rare cut for us to have. You've got to snap them up while they're here. Now, not only have you got that lovely size, look at the color of them. So with them being a coated pyrite, you do have this golden element to them, but then this sort of lovely green tone. Hang on, hang on, hang on. They are, yeah, they're faceted on both sides. Perusian pyrite, it has gone through a, a treatment of coating. Doesn't that look fab? Look how I'm, I'm literally hardly moving these at all and they're just sparkling away so beautifully. Should we do them under £10 as well? £9.95 and, and they are beautiful. You're going to get approximately one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them and they are stunning. Absolutely stunning. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Do you know what's really useful as well? Those big spacer beads. They're not, they're not plastic. They're glass, those ones. They'll be really useful as well, won't they? And they're, a, they're this sort of lovely, fresh, springtime, midsummer night's dream, Peter Pan green. That's why I wanted to talk about Peter Pan and Wendy, you see, Martha, because that was my link into the strand. I know, I know I do talk sort of random gobbledygook most of the time, but there was actually a reason for that one. Should we pop these up to the uh, neckline? 
Liz Welsh is in the studio. Do do do. She's her own theme tune. I'm so excited to be working with you, Liz. I can't believe I'm working with you. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Look at those, aren't they beautiful? Liz is in the studio. Can we bring Liz's microphone live, please? She has an opinion <laughs> I on do. the stone. I do. I think they are beautiful. Aren't they? <laughs> they aren't are really they? lovely. They shine and sparkle. I they like actually really suit you. I don't know. They really suit you. <laughs> you mean I should buy these and have them in my life? Liz, I, I will let you say so. I must. I must. <laughs> what do you think you'd work with? Um, put with these? Oh, I don't know. Again, I like contrast, so I would probably go with something that maybe had um, some real texture or some matte, something big, and um, but or maybe just have them just on their own. I love them yeah. just strung as they are. They're beautiful. I'm thinking maybe a deep, intense purple with them. Oh, would that'd look be a good. Bit striking, yes. wouldn't it? And you ask me, and I've come in and I've seen them for about two seconds. And then, <laughs> yes, and immediately, you see, that's how fabulous she is. She's seen them for two seconds, and already she just knows. That's because she's Liz Welsh. And we have her, and we're taking ownership of her forever. Um, they are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So, it is Mix It Up Tuesday, and we are doing things slightly differently. We're just going to wait for our graphics to reboot, and while we do, have a look at this. Now, I wonder if Liz has actually seen this yet. You've got 10 minutes to send in your answer. Um, Okay, here we go. Here is the image. Now, Liz, don't say out loud. But can you possibly guess which three JM faces that is made up from? Because we have been doing this all day, and out of all of our millions and zillions and billions of fantastic viewers out there, one person's got it right. Really? Yeah. They must obviously watch an awful lot, I think. Keep it going. I would say, is that Linda? Uh, no, 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 you can't say it loud, just in case you get it right. Oh, I probably won't, though. <laughs> Do you know what you could guess? And I'm not going to tell you if you've got it that right That would be or not. good. Okay, okay, so who are you thinking? Uh -huh. Okay, that is, I think it's Linda's eyes, is it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's really confusing. Every bit is familiar. But I can't tell you which. I just don't know who it is. You'll kick yourself when you find out later. <laughs> it is so obvious when you know. <laughs> it is so obvious. But should we go over to Liz? If you would like to enter our text uh, competition, 60777, start your text message with JM Studio. And the person, uh, well, at the moment, it's only one person who's got it right, but everybody who has got it right is entered into the draw, and somebody out there will win the bead scoop. That sounds good. I think what you have to do is look at it, just suddenly look at it, and then. Yeah, you go, oh, oh and that's who it oh, is. Oh, did I see? Did I see? Yeah. Yeah, you all, it is brilliant. <laughs> so, little bit of a mix up yes. today, a little changing <laughs> thing. So, what have we got in store oh, this afternoon? Fun things, really fun things. We're going to be doing some friendly plastic. Great. Um, we're going I did to my first friendly plastics the other day. Did you? It. Oh, I'm yes. <laughs> it's brilliant. And, and I've got a little homage to um, Debbie, Debbie Kershaw, uh, because she's done some beautiful flowers for a magazine cover. And um, I've done my version of those, and I'm going to show you how to do that. But we've Great. also got some really fun things to do with jewel enamels. So these pieces that you have here, this is what people are going to learn, what you are going to yes. learn this afternoon. Okay, so I'm looking and I'm confused with what we have in terms of ingredients. So <laughs> what do we have in terms of ingredients? Okay, Liz? well this one, the one you're looking at there is, is friendly plastic. And this is my no. homage. Yes, that's my homage to Debbie. No! And it's really easy to do and I you have know, lots of fun. And textured friendly plastic. Yes. And we've used gleams and all sorts. You can do loads of things with friendly plastic. You need to do some more shows with me. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, 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 really, really do. Texturizing friendly plastic? Yes. I can't get my head around how you do that. Okay, cool. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. I've got a number of variations on that theme. And then the middle one here, if you look at that, you might be a little confused as to what it is. You should be able to see that, that is jewel enamels, but not in any mould that you might have seen. We make that mould, and it's, I promise you, it's a doddle. I don't want to go home. <laughs> Tell Becky she's got the afternoon off. I'm here. <gasps> <laughs> we make that mould, and the top of that is friendly plastic to finish it off. So, yeah. Amazing. <laughs> it's fun to do, and it's easy. Wow. You wow. Need, you need a third pair of hands, that's the only thing. You know, the helping hands, that's yeah. the one thing you will need, if you, unless you've got somebody else who can stand there and hold it for you. 
Okay, well, remember <laughs> that Handy Andy, the Helping Hands, was available in the starter collection that we did for 1995 today oh. with the tool kit and the jig and the tool dock and all the uh, trays as well for just 1995 for the whole lot. Look at that. That's more friendly oh. plastic. And some twisted wire as well and things. So it's, it's easy. But we're going to be working also with pipes bits of pipes and they could be pipes that could be straws, bits of uh, central heating piping or little little pipes that I've got inlaid in here. This is amazing. So, <laughs> so that's, uh, this is a combination of friendly plastic and jewel enamels that I'm wearing here. Can well I that? think it's fair to say <laughs> that the, inspira the inspirational show, uh, the inspirational show this afternoon will truly, truly, truly inspire you. Now, to get you kickstarted and give you a flavour of what's coming up this afternoon, we have got the Jewel Enamel 5 colours. So, can you talk us through this? And obviously, you're going to be going into a lot more detail this afternoon, but yes. for anybody who can't join us this afternoon and has never done Jewel Enamel before oh. and they receive five pots of this, what happens next? <gasps> Well, you just have to caress them for a bit, actually. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Um, they, what you need to do with the jewel enamels is you need to melt them. Okay. You sprinkle them into the melting pot. Yes. And uh, heat it up and let them melt. And they melt into the most glorious puddle of colours. And you can intermingle them and all sorts. So you get lovely swirly designs. You can sprinkle glitter and stellar flash and gilding flake and all sorts of things into it. You can use it with fusible films as well, which I've done before. And um, it's fantastic. The colours are gorgeous. And then you can pour it out into things. They're just amazing. <laughs> I want them. And um, so, for those of you, this will probably be very appealing to those of you who've already started Jewel Enamel. If this is something that already perhaps you haven't started um, and it, this is giving you a flavour for it, well, we're going to do an incredible offer right now on the five different colours. And the five colours, you've got the rich silver, amethyst, light gold, ruby, red, and... Jet black. The jet black. Thank you very much. <laughs> I have to say that the colours that you see in the pots now are a dim, um, dim version of the colours as they are melted. They are really vibrant when they're oh, melted, wow. really vibrant. <gasps> wow, there you go, <laughs> made in the UK, that's good to know. Uh, the code on these is CMGC84. Let's have a look at some other uh, pieces of jewel enamel that Liz has created for us in the past. So we'll take a look at these and ah. Uh, oh. That was right at the very beginning. I remember that, Yeah, I do remember that. Fabulous. So, and it, so that's, I think, using ruby red and, and diamond clear in there as well. So you can see the colours are so much more vibrant than yeah. they appear in the pots. Yeah. There's a real iridescence to them when they're like that yes. as well, isn't it? Oh, and that's so, a gilding flake. Ah, we've got yeah. a gilding flake offer in just a moment as well. So you can ju you literally just pour those in. Yeah, you can sprinkle them on, you can put them inside the mould. Are and you going to be using those this afternoon? Do you know, I hadn't planned to. I, they weren't in my little bundle that was given to me. but um, Next I, time. Yes, next time. Next time. <laughs> and those gilding flakes are great because you can actually use them with lots and lots you and can. lots of different mediums as well. Friendly plastic included, polymer clay, paper, double-sided sticky tape. And you can put that down, you can punch out shapes and um, it'll all stick to that. You can use it between. I want to live with you. <laughs> Only if you promise to start tidy my studio for me. Oh no, I can't do that. <laughs> creative, too creative. Like to keep things messy. <laughs> so all these different colours for five of them. We're not going to stay at twenty pounds today. We're actually going to take off a big chunk of money. Now you know that Liz Welsh is the enamel lady, that if you're going to get any advice from anybody, make sure you stay in tuned. It's 14 95 to give you a flavour, and that's for all five that is really pots. That's really good. Really good pricing. Incredibly mm. competitive. Incredibly competitive. So have a look around at what else is out there and do your price comparisons, and they are fab. So in terms of the, the size of pot and how long it should last you, that's always a difficult question because How it depends. Yeah, what you're making. exactly. If you're making small things, it lasts a long time. Um, if you've put, got a really big mould, then you might get say four, four pieces out of one pot. But that's if it's a really big mould. Yeah. But the other thing to remember is that you can recycle it. So anything I suggest when you start is you just use one colour because when you put it into the melting pot and you, you pour it out again, if it hasn't gone the way you want it to, all you have to do then is just put it back in the melting pot and you've still got that one good colour. You just keep practising until you've got it right. Golly. And then start adding other colours. This is our, oh, <laughs> this is fantastic. We have, um, we've almost sold out of that. So we are going to move on and we have got the gilding flakes. Now, you've already referred to the fact that you can use these in different oh, yes. mediums. And I Liz can't does. <laughs> I'm not going to open one. I'm not going to do a Jenny Cleary. <laughs> Has she done that and opened them all? And sprinkled them all over yeah. the studio. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, when I've used these, and I've only used them with polymer clay, I have opened, and this is a little bit of a heads up for you. <laughs> if you've got a big plastic tub, mm -hmm. open them in that because these tubs are packed full. You get tons you of You do, them. yes, and you can't get them back in the pot when no. you want to <laughs> at all. Absolutely <laughs> no. not. I tend to use an old takeaway container with a lid rather Good than a thinking. plastic bag because they, they, the static take makes them stick to yeah. a plastic bag. Yeah. Um, and it means also you can dip things into them if they're in a big pot, which is so really handy. So get yourself, just, I mean actually our storage boxes and you, um, are yeah. quite good for that as well and then you can yeah. keep the colours uh, within each of the different portions of the storage boxes. So it should be 1680 for the four pots and you can use these across a huge medium mm -hmm. of crafts, not just jewellery making as well. Yes. Now the code is DSGC25. We're going lower. <laughs> We're going for lower for four packed boxes. Oh, here we go. We've got a graphical graphicalness. Oh. <laughs> we'll, we'll wait for that to be sorted. So, in terms of the jewel enamel mm -hmm. with the gilding flakes, yes, you literally are just sprinkling them. Yes, I often put them in the bottom of a mould, and then you know when you've got all your mixed up jewel enamels and they've become a bit of a brown puddle, and you don't know quite what to do with it because you're recycling all of it, yeah. then you just pour that in on top of the gilding flake oh. and you get the lovely mm -hmm. gilding flake enriched jewel enamels. And it's a really good way of recycling your little bits of jewel enamel and having something that's luscious at the end of it. And so. you just touched before outside of the world of jewel making as well and with card making. Mm -hmm. What was you saying about the double sided tape? Double sided sticky tape. You can punch out shapes from double sided you know, sticky tape, put it on card, punch out shapes. See, I'm very much but just <laughs> in the world of jewel making. But that's Wherever you've got glue or something sticky, they will stick. Anyway. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. So if you were to use these on the so you use these underneath and you pull the enamel on the top. Yes. And then when everything's ready, do you have to just varnish over the top of it? What would With, you recommend? I usually heat polish and okay. it sticks it in to the jewel enamels and holds it really tight. So You yeah. need to watch this afternoon's show. <laughs> this is just an opportunity for you to have a flavour. Oh we're down there you go. Thirteen ninety five. Wow. <laughs> I think um, is that the lowest price that's ever been to? That is very 13, good. Yeah, it's the it's lowest a very price. very good price. You've got a lovely variety yes. of colours oh, there. They are gorgeous. And in fact, they're bursting out of the boxes as I see them <laughs> sitting are, there. They are, they are. Look, they're to, to get escape. out. Yes. <laughs> and so, they're lovely big flakes as well. That's the other thing I like about them. Really nice big flakes. And you can pick out individual ones when they've got lovely colours on them and just put them where you want. <laughs> I am in awe. Make sure you join Liz this afternoon with Becky. The show will start in about probably just over 10 minutes, about 10, 15 minutes time. And that just has given you a little insight into what you will learn. It will be truly inspiring. I'm so excited. Your creativity is infectious. I love it. <laughs> now remember, of course, we are live this afternoon. Um, so you can keep your get your text messages coming. If you have any questions for Liz, don't text them in yet because at one o'clock the show, the computers and things gets rebooted and we'd lose your messages and I don't want you to have spent the time sending them in. So do send them in. Remember you can watch on the website as well on jewelrymaker.com if um, we lose you on free view um, at, at one o'clock. So while we're actually here, have we still only got one person who's got it right? So we're going to, shall we get the picture? <laughs> Do you want to know who it is? You have to sort of hold your hand over the plate. It's, oh, I don't know. That's, it's <laughs> hilarious that no one has got it. Are you, go on, Liz, I go on. Know. Whose hair is it? Was that Vicky's hair or is it Jenny's hair? Jenny Cleary's hair. Jenny's hair. hair. But that looked, I don't know, Debbie, it's not Debbie's eyes, is it? Gemma Crow's. Gemma, eyes. Gemma's eyes. And I've just been talking to Gemma as ah. well. <laughs> <laughs> Whose mouth is that? It's Sheila's. Uh. And the, oh, I can't believe out of the literally hundreds and hundreds of texts that have been pouring in, <laughs> Pauline in Cheshire, you see, we knew when you texted in earlier that you got the answer right as well. You're the only one who got it right. Pauline in Cheshire, you've got the bead scoop, hun, that we've been That's displaying weird. in a champagne glass today. Oh, oh sorry. This is on its way to you. Unfortunately, not the glass. <laughs> but the contents, all of those gorgeous, gorgeous gemstones. Thank you so much to all of you for joining <laughs> us uh, in that uh, little competition today. Liz, I'm going to let you have an opportunity to go and grab yourself a quick cup of tea, whatever you need to do. <laughs> I get and we'll set see up, I think. And get set yes, up. Yes, I think so. She's a professional. 
<laughs> fabulous, fabulous. <laughs> so don't go anywhere. We now we just have a few minutes left of our morning show to just go over some of our most incredible offers if you haven't had a chance yet to get them. So, uh, oh my God, it will be an amazing, a truly incredibly inspiring show this afternoon amazing show this afternoon just to remind you as well we have had back by extraordinary popular demand rachel norris's masterclass 2 dvd just 19.95 it is amazing she's an award-winning jewelry designer specializing in wire work designs um, a very regular um featured designer here at jewelry maker we've got some examples of the pieces that you will learn there's one there, and there's Rach there. Amazingly incredible designs. And look, when you have Rachel at your fingertips, literally ready to play, rewind, pause, watch again and again and again and again and again. And it's one of those DVDs that quite frankly, if you feel you've lost your mojo, this will certainly give you a boost. It will certainly give you a boost. At 19.95, it is. It's going to be the best thing that you could get to uh, to boost you into the next stage of wire work if you're ready to go there. So 19.95, Rachel Norris, if you're watching still, because she was texting in this morning. I think that DVD is fab. Now let's have a little recap. I do have some of the sapphires left. Only a handful. 15 carats of graduated faceted sapphires and they are just truly beautiful and I do think if you are going to do the little something blue and bridal jewellery W O G Z 94 they have been heat treated only at 24.95 and like I was saying you know coloured sapphire is so Steve Bennett the uh, one of the owners of the company has only been able hasn't been able to find any coloured sapphire in six months and he has access to pretty much everywhere that you can source gemstones and I'm talking directly from the mine he, he goes directly to the mine he goes inside the mines Something that would terrify me as I'm claustrophobic. <laughs> but at $24.95, they are truly beautiful. They're a real treat, and I can't imagine anywhere else that could provide you with this quality, this carrot weight, this amazing colour for, for that price. W O G. Sorry, W Q G, apologies. W Q G Z94. Oh eight hundred. Six trouble four. Six double five stunning absolutely stunning what's really lovely as well is they come in these fabulous boxes <gasps> now I have a three strand pack which is stunning mm. oh these are lovely absolutely inspired by nature you've got the bronzite in these little beautiful handcar flowers a really really popular shape actually with Gemma Crow incidentally because within the shapes that you've got here you've got anchor points to anchor your wire and then you've got the two stunning leaves you've got the clear quartz and you've got the cloudy quartz as well all beautifully hand carved now the clear quartz and the cloudy quartz are approximately a 4 by 14 by 10 each and the bronzite is a 10 millimeter in diameter it's 160 carats 125 carats on the cloudy quartz and 120 carats on the clear quartz they're so 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 pretty now the price should be at 27 pounds 90. so already that's under 10 pounds a strand but you're watching jewelry maker it's been our mix it up tuesday thank you so much for participating in the show today and all your lovely lovely messages at 21.95 
just phenomenal hand craftsmanship that's been applied to the natural gemstones that have been sourced. The clarity of those clear quartz is really, 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 really impressive. The beautiful nature of the quality and the hand carving on those leaves is stunning. And those little flowers are so pretty. They look amazing with antique bronze wire. They look seriously amazing with antique bronze wire. 0800 644 655 ZK GC 13 for the three strands. And I just think if you're going to be doing the tiara technique, if you're going to do hair combs, the little leaves make beautiful flowers. You can even use them as petals for the flowers, even though they're leaves. They've got lots of design elements and aspects to them. So, 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 so pretty. 0800 Okay, we're going to do another amazing bundle here, which is the gorgeous greens. Mmm, <gasps> juicy, fruity, rich in, oh, stunning, stunning, sumptuous colours. Pardon? You won't be expecting this price. Look at the side of these chunky gemstones. Oh, I love a chunky gemstone. They're massive. They're massive. S G C oh sorry S C G C six zero. Now they've both been sourced from Brazil for you. You've got huge faceted rounds of green agate. They're a sixteen millimeter in diameter green agate, six hundred and thirty carats. And then the agate that you've got here, both have gone through a dyeing process. Um, these are the puffy pears, which is an 18 by 13 millimeter in diameter, 180 carats. They are a pear shape. 0800 Don't you think the colour, the way that that agate's taken the colour is lovely? Because it's really, it's really accented and um, exposed the naturally beautiful incurring markings that you find within the agate. That deep, rich, intense forest green of those beautiful green agates there. Can you imagine those just simply restranded with a couple of gold jump rings in between? And yet at the same time, you could use this again an agate, but taking the green in a slightly different way and a bit more of a turquoise element, and perhaps use those with a different uh, type of wire. The beauty of that as well, they're already been pearl knotted in between for you. You could literally just take off the end two, apply a clasp, and then you're ready to go with a full complete stranded necklace. 810 carats, you're watching our Mix It Up Tuesday. Nah. We don't like the number 13. You ready? 9.95 for both. For both. And they're both 38 centimetre strands. Absolutely exquisite. 0800 644. Six double five, and the fact I think this is a really fabulous showcase for how one gemstone, depending on the way it's been treated, can look completely different. I love all those facets on those um, green agates as well. So they look completely different gemstones, and they're not. That just goes to show the quality, the hand craftsmanship, and the process that they've gone through in order to bring this versatility of this gemstone to you. Hundred uh, and eighteen, no, eight hundred and ten. 180! Yeah! I'm so ladylike. <laughs> if, if right now, you know the whole how many men does it change, take to change a light bulb scenario? That was amazing. They've just whipped off screen. <laughs> it just took three men to plug in an extension lead. Three men. Did you witness that, Liz? Three men to plug in an extension lead for the melting pot. One did it, the other one watched, and the other one stood back. That was quite an impressive... Okay, well, we'll move on. Now, was that the last one? Now, for all of you on uh, watching me right now on Freeview, we're about to lose you. You cannot miss out on this afternoon. All you need to do is go to jewelrymaker.com and you can carry on watching. It says watch us live. And that's it. It is as simple as that. 
It's in the word of the meerkats, simples. <laughs>